Do you have any kids? Yes, I have four. How old are your kids? They are, my oldest is 10. I have a seven year old, an eight year old, and a two year old. And a two year old, all about the same man? No. I have two How different many? baby daddies. Two different baby daddies. Why yeah. are you not with the baby daddy that you had the baby with two years ago? Um, I'm not with them because um, I was always the breadwinner. I was always the one making money, always the one out there hustling, doing what I needed to do, working. Um, and they just didn't have any ambition. They didn't have my, their ambition. Didn't. There we go. Y'all need to start like I was in relation. I was the breadwinner. You was a single mom with four kids and you was the breadwinner of what? <laughs> Seriously. She belongs to the streets. Yes, I do. I have eight. How old are you? 28. You have eight kids that you gave birth to? Yes, ma'am. You gave birth to eight kids? Yes. How old are these kids? Uh, uh, my oldest just turned 10. My daughter is seven. Then my next son, he's six. Then I have a set of twins who will be five on the 29th of this month. And my second set of twins, they just turned three in November. Then I have a one-year-old son. A one-year-old son? Hell no. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. She got eight kids, bruh. Eight. She got eight kids under the age of 10. This is like an anomaly. Uh, the other woman, like, this is the second woman. The, the one woman, she was pregnant still, but she had seven, and she was about to have give birth to her eighth i don't i don't know how, <laughs> this is crazy yeah she's 28 with eight kids her oldest is 10. you have any kids six you really have six kids yeah how old are, you, how old are your kids 14 we got a 14 we got 13 11 a 10 and a seven and then three girl so are you giving me the lottery number or or you ordering or you she's she said i got a i got a 10 i got a i got a a, a motherfucking uh seven listen uh, here no. i don't know i don't know what's on her head i don't know what's on her head but it, it, it is. come on man what are we doing what's on her head she got six kids Oh. She got you tell me what's on her head. She got six, ain't nothing in her head. She has six kids. You want a Popeye's chicken? I need a 14 bucket, a seven piece, <laughs> a 10 piece, a 11 piece. <laughs> after seven, what's after seven? Seven, we got a um a three-year-old. And, and we got a three-year-old. I need a seven yeah. piece, a three piece, dark or white. Yeah, piece. we can get a 20 piece. Spicy, two piece. 20. Play, play, <laughs> play, play. Oh, no, I'm serious. So, okay, how many men? Only one. Are, are your kids by one guy? Yeah, by one dad. Have you guys ever been married? No, we've been together for 15 years. Why y'all not together still? No, uh, because we went through our little problems with like domestic violence. So, don't you love when I come around? What do you say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. There we go. 36. You have any kids? Yeah, I have seven. You have seven children? Seven, seven children? children? Mm -hmm. How old are your kids? My oldest is 18, 13. Uh, my oldest son turns 10 next month. And then I have an eight year old, a seven year old, a five year old, and an eight month old. <laughs> eight month old. All about the same man? 
No. How many men? Six. Six men. So why are you not with the man you had a baby with eight months ago? So, um, so when him and I started talking, it didn't work out. He was too Christian. So why'd you have a baby by I found out I was pregnant after we had stopped talking. How long did y'all talk for? We were talking for like six months. And then I ended up getting pregnant. Yeah. What about why are you not with the five-year-old dad? Mm, he has a drug addiction that I found out about. And that's a turnoff. Why are you not with the seven-year-old dad? Same thing. Why are you not with the eight-year-old dad? Uh, he left me for his baby mama. Why are you not with the ten-year-old dad? Didn't work out. So with my boys, and I'm not ashamed of it. Um, actually, what made me decide to get on your show um, was the young lady that got on there earlier through the week. The one yeah. That, um, well, she well, she yeah. well, Lillian. Well, has um. Seven kids, and she's currently pregnant, so she'll have eight kids. So I was like, at first, I was like, I ain't gonna ever get on this woman's show because they not about to, they not about to talk about me. But then I thought about it, like at the end of yes, the day, it's my is. life, and yes, it's my story. You can't judge me. Get to it. I'm trying to find my man. How old are you? You're 26, right? Uh -huh. I'm 26. Okay. And you have seven kids and one on the way? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's go with the kids' ages. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. I got an 11 year old, um, a nine year old, an eight year old, a five year old. Wait, wait, wait. I got to write it down. So try me again from the top. I have an 11 year old, nine, eight, two three year olds, a five year old, and a one year old. Boom. Okay, and you're pregnant. Yes. So, is are you pregnant? How many men? How many baby daddies do I have? Yes. Child fathers do I have? Yes. I have four. Four. So you're currently pregnant, and you have a one year old. Is that by the same? She lying. She yes. unsure. No, the one. The one that I'm pregnant by, I don't know who my baby daddy is. But the um, how do you not know where your baby daddy is? See, it's a long story. I, I don't want to talk about it. It's it's embarrassing. So did you have sex with most? Don't judge babies? me. No, I'm just we're, 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 we're judging. Well, we're we now I want to say this: you chose to come on the show, right? So okay, these are the questions. Happened. These are the questions I will naturally ask for clarity. So you volunteer. I don't call nobody. Everybody calls me. Emotional damage. You have any children, Diamond? I got six, Kendra. Six kids. How old are your kids, Diamond? 26, 23, 20, 15, 9, and 6. 9 and 6. How old are you, Diamond? I'm 44. 44. Have you ever been married? I'm married right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm separated. My husband is a cheater. How many, how many children's dads do you have? Just one? I got six, Kendra. I gave every man I love the baby. So you have six children by six men? Yes, ma'am. All right. So we're going to stop it here. And ain't no way we can move past this. I right? know it. I know it. I mean, 46 children, and I got a woman in my life who's trying to have three more right now as we talk. So let me be clear, for we can know, you have 46 kids. Six. 
Four T six T's and you finna have three more. Yes. God damn. How many baby mamas, bro? Well, it's twenty two, but it's finna be twenty three. The Glade City merchandise. Go on here, support the show, support your interests. The link's in the chat. All right. Glaze City people. So what you see right here is we got the t-shirts and we got the crew necks. So that's what I got on. We don't have the hoodies yet. This is a crew neck. Getting y'all ready for the falls is thick. All right, this ain't no t-shirt. This is crew. This is a sweatshirt. All right, so this is a sweatshirt. This is the t-shirt. Go on here. Go over to the to the website. Copy some gear. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. That's for all y'all. There you go. Get in line. Get yours today, people. It's time. Let's get it on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live single by choices brought to you by Cart Before the Horse Productions. How y'all feeling tonight? I see G Honda in the building. How you feeling, Mr. Walker? We about to cook up tonight, brother. <laughs> Glaze City, stand up. We in these YouTube streets. <laughs> good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, nug nugs and bone quiches. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse, single by choices, in affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast. Also, as you Negroes all know, also in association with Ain't No Fun, once the rabbits got the gun, entertainment, what's going on with you this fine Sunday? In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? Yes, sir. We hear madness, a lot of madness going on tonight. Shout out to everybody in the house. Like I said, my man G Honda, he come in right away, setting the tone in the super chat. All new flavors in Glaze City. Stay tuned. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! We back, baby. Glaze City back in full effect. I'm like, yes. Like I said, where are we at? We had to come through. He said, Chubby, stand down. The CEO going to show you how I go. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Stand down, Chubby. You did well. Ish, you did good. All right, <laughs> stand down. <laughs> yes, shout out to my guy G Honda. He's starting to show off right, baby. He says, Glaze City now sponsored by Jet Blue and Delta. Woo! So, here we okay, go. okay. CEO said he went away just to, just to get some funds up. He said, Don't fret, Glaze City is up and is completely stuck. <laughs> So there we go. Also, like we were saying, get your Glaze City gear now. The link's in the description. It's in the chat. Make sure you go over, support the show, support your interests. Um, if you're just coming into the room, hit the like button, people. The likes are free. We got a whole show we about to cook up. And, and depending on how the show go tonight, all right, we'll see if y'all hitting the like button, how the support is. We might uh, we might bring uh Mancho back out tonight. It's Sunday. <laughs> it's Sunday, Mr. Walker. Huh? Oh, the the ghoul that is Mancho. So picture it. We got we got Mancho chained up down there in the cellar. All right, <laughs> all right. She she itching to get loose and come up with all her as Gavin say vulgarity. She she <laughs> vulgar than a than a summer. All right. <laughs> Straight like that. So make sure you guys are hitting the like button if you're just coming in. Let the algorithm do its thing. Get the people in here supporting the show. And we're going to bring Muncho out for y'all. Stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> y'all got to be careful what y'all ask for. I never thought I would see the day that there was actually someone that we couldn't safely say is worse 
than the demon that is the Braca. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, there he is. Hell! Huh. Here we go. Oh, here Let we go. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Decline Management. Fat Lives Matter. Come through, hit us with a super sticker. We appreciate you. All right. Where we at here? My guy Joker Nutty Nate. In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. So appreciate you, Joker, for the super chat, brother. So here we go. Shout out to Team Peterson. He says salute to the best duo on YouTube. We appreciate you, brother. Shout out to my guy Project Leroy. Says Chubby, keep the AMG ready. Pound Town got a new eight lane highway. How were we not privy to this information? Glade City getting eight lane highways, airports, <laughs> progress. I thought we was in a recession, not Glade City. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to Shimmy Tube. Shout out to Sean Tay. We appreciate you. Shout out to the dude named Dave. How you doing, brother? <laughs> we appreciate you for coming over. Uh, I, I caught one of your replays the other day. I see he was over there cooking up uh, one of these Kendra shows. So uh, definitely going to go over. Make sure y'all subscribe to his channel, man. Check this brother out. He be over there cooking, man. So we appreciate you for coming through. Like I said, G Honda, the general. Uh, <laughs> Gail Day. Everybody in the house. Shout out to Rashina. Shout out to Danny Nicole. Okay, and shout out to my guy, Chubby. Money, 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 money. Chubby <laughs> says, running Glade City and Pound Town at the same time was like running Death Row and Bad Boy <laughs> Records in the 90s at the same time. On four in them. Man, we seen it. Bonquishas and all her FNF friends was running a muck, but you held it down, Chubby. You held it down. So here we go, man. We go get the show started. Like I said, we got a couple Kendra contestants. As y'all know, Kendra was down. She in the hospital. She done had a, not a hysterectomy, but a thyroid. She had her thyroid. Yeah, th not hyster. <laughs> Kendra need that wound. Hister, she had her thyroid removed. All right. So she been down, but she cooked up a little bit. She had a guess. So we about to cook. But hit the like button. Make sure you support your interest tonight. We're going to bring Huncho back out, or Muncho, all right? And against my better judgment, we're going to do it. Right. Uh, uh, I guess I got to get gotta get my heart ready for Muncho. I keep lying to myself by telling myself there ain't no way they can continue week after week, Thursday after Thursday, Sunday after Sunday, can they continue to raise this ignorant bar? And they and Bo Kreisha say, Hold my peach Paul Masson. So here we go. Um, I'm pull this first one up. Catch my time stamp. Uh, shout out to my girl Nikia Harris. She says, uh, February. Okay. February. 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 Listen, I'm dyslexic. I don't know. Tricep. What? Okay. I don't know. What okay. <laughs> Nevertheless, Kendra is hell. I'm hyped. Glaze City stand up. So what's going on with Pound Town? Glade City is getting renovations. What about Pound Town? Pound Town was holding it down. Come on now. Can can Pound Town get a new pole, a new stripper pole? <laughs> yeah, go need it. Go need a new stripper pole, new strippers, uh, all that. Y'all remember what happened to the last stripper? Y'all forgot. Let me see if she's still the last stripper of Pound Town. Y'all forgot. So right now, we taking applications. We need new dancers, all right? We need a maintenance guy to come fix the pole, all right? All that. Melanated folk will risk their life doing the most ignorant things. You shouldn't risk your life on no, no, no uh, Amazon budget scripper pole. <laughs> so there you go. That was the last dancer at Glade City. She on IR. She, you know what I mean? She recovering, so. There we go. 
Here we go. First sister, we're going to bring her out. We ain't going to keep y'all waiting. Here we go, Mr. Walker. Bull nose oh. ring. Okay. And let's do it. So this is Zaire. Baltimore, 22 Scorpio. I'm sorry, Kendra. I'm in the hood. I, I'm sorry. This is the hood. I'm trying to move away from the music. I'm sorry. Is it dangerous? A little bit, but I'm good. I'm good. We good in the hood. What? Hood. I want you to be safe, girl. You coming to me now? You got me worried. Oh no 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 no! It's just ghetto, like the music. Oh you yeah, though. it's the crazy. Can you go somewhere without music? Cause I. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Don't know how old she is. Don't know her name. I tell y'all about the first sixty seconds. We talked about this before. She in the hood, Mister Walker. If I'm if I'm Mister Joe Schmo, forty hours. CEO, COO, I'm I, I'm instantly not checking for Bone Quisha. You ain't told me you in the hood, and it's against it's against my business brand and best interest for me to come to the hood looking for the likes of you. Location, bad, bad news. Here we go. I'll get flagged. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go over here. Where's the car? The cousin said, I'm missing the over here. Yeah. I am missing it's, the earring. You should call y'all. It, it was bothering me. If y'all want to buy me some real gold earrings so they don't bother me, please help us this out. Wait, them fake? Can you see me? Is this the like, always... What, the earrings? I'm not going to hold you. I thought we was done wearing fake gold and stuff. And when okay, did the bet? Let, let's. Let's say they are real. What was some gold earrings that size cost? I, I would at least about a, a rack, I would imagine. So that would tell me they fake. You see what I'm saying? Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! <laughs> Simple oh, man. No. Hold on, G Honda. What the? Holy hell. <laughs> even get started, bro. Hold on, G Honda. Hmm. <laughs> Man, okay. <laughs> Here we go, man. The Honda hit the skip button, people. If you don't know, <laughs> we didn't get into it. So at some point, if y'all want to bring her back, y'all know how this go. Uh okay. This is how we playing tonight. Y'all want to really get much on the screen, y'all keep playing. <laughs> we sit, we we sit here you for what? Huh. I wonder. I wanted to hear what uh one earring bone Quisha had to say, man. God, Lee, wait, G Honda, my man G Honda, big shout out to G Honda. He ain't been around in a while. I see G Honda, you with the smoke. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so there we go, man. G Honda hit the skip button. Bring her All back. Right. All right, it is what it is. The thing is, we can't sit up here with Muncho for two hours or so. Muncho got like a 30-minute limit on YouTube. Y'all must understand. It's a threshold. Yeah, so. for multiple reasons. <laughs> Algorithmic, <laughs> sanity, <laughs> all that. <laughs> Your appetite, so many things. Yeah, uh, mental I, health, physical health. Your diabetes start acting up, watching Muncho too much. Thyroid start acting up. Nonetheless, here we go. Shout out to G Honda. All right, let's catch our next timestamp. Um, where we at here? And that was quick. That's funny. Y'all ain't playing, huh? All right. What do you say? All the smoke, no safety. <laughs> Noted. Oh my God, Don. That where you at, Don? You hiding somewhere? <laughs> my god ninja john watching. you know ninja ninja watch mm. on us but nonetheless here we go here we go you ain't throw us off we didn't even get started really so i guess here we go again <laughs> oh boy Damn, i can't get the shit can you see me now we can see you now all right girl yes let's get settled let's first go what oh titties in the okay there you go first titties out titties titties in the okay, okay, let's go. okay and then just keep your head you see the flame yeah keep your head right there all right rolling. that's perfect don't move Ooh, so good. Right. what's your name girl where you from okay. how old are you 
I am Tamika. I'm from the Bay Area, and I am 42 years old. 24 <laughs> backwards, if you want to think about it. 24 backwards. Okay, that's new. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. All right, Pisces in the building. Pisces, turn up. And what do you do for a living? I have my own business, and I do ride share for a living. On top of that. Okay. What's your own business? What is that? So I have my own um, cannabis business. I do like edibles and foods and juices and whatever you need. Nice. I love it. Um, okay. This is Tamika Bay Area 42. Do you have any kids? I have two kids, but they're grown. Okay. How old are they? 22 and 20. Oh, they're grown, grown. Nice. Grown, grown. Are they about the same dad? No. Oh. Okay. All right, cool. All right, let's go, y'all. Tamika Bay, Area 42, Pisces, two kids, 20 and 22. She's in the cannabis business and does right here. What type of man are you looking for, Tamika? Um, let me think. Because <laughs> I wasn't ready, but I'm ready. Okay, so just like an honest dude, a, woman, a dude that knows how to speak to a woman. But okay. Um, just respectful. Okay. So here we go. She's 42 or 24 backwards. She's she sell um I don't know why she's talking like that. The ATF gonna be kicking in her door, talking about she's selling uh al alcohol and tobacco out the house. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I got my own marijuana business. I make edibles and stuff. And then, they, like you said, Gabby, they'd be wondering why their door is getting knocked on so aggressively by men in vests and microphones and stuff. Wondering why, because you can't be quiet. This here, this is 40, what'd she say? 42 or 24, however stupid, goofy math you want to do. Stop. Stop. You about half a hundo. Simmer down. So here we go. We're going to let her cook. I see Jihanda on one tonight. Here we go. What, what you mean? I speak? Okay. No, and, I don't know how to speak. And wait, I want a man that knows how to pay bills. I don't want no broke dude. I don't want no ghetto dude. I don't want none of that. We got too much of that in the Bay already. Okay. No broke, no ghetto, and know how to pay bills. All right. What is that? Do you have any deal breakers? Yeah. Uh, I don't like men that bite their nails because I don't want to kiss a man. That they had a whole full flesh meal on their hands. What? Oh, well, that's a new one. No booty. <laughs> that's babies. a new one. Yes. Hey, I don't like no because because that's a sign of stress, and I'm not stressed, so I don't okay. need that. Okay. Um. What else? No nail. This is so sad when they in that pre gatekeeper stage, like when they phasing out of the king auntie. And they phasing into a gatekeeper. It's bad, man. They just and they come up with these terms and conditions, con terms and conditions and demands that are just goofy and fruit loopy. Yeah, he can't. And you want to know what he can't do? He can't bite his nails. And you want to know, want to know what else he can't do? He can't eat on no days that end with why. Cause I don't like that. If he if if he like to breathe on days that end with why. He ain't for me. I, I'd rather be by myself. I'd rather be by myself. So here we go. Rest in peace to the notorious B.I.G. He said, never get high on your own supply. It seems as if auntie's drunk. All right. Why are you in okay. there drinking all the product? Huh? Oh, she been drinking on that hood hooch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. She up in that house. Here we go. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> and not like Beyonce, not. Yeah, and no thieves. I don't like. I don't like people that steal. <laughs> okay. I don't, do care, I don't care if you a liar, because everybody lie. It, that don't make a difference to me. Okay. It, would be, it would be stupid to be like, I don't want no liar, because everybody lie. Okay. No nail biter, no thief. I'm fucking with that. All right. Uh, <laughs> does he have to make a certain amount of money? He has to make at least match me. So I make about eighty to eighty to one hundred thousand a year. 
Okay. So he got to be able to match that and be able to take care of himself because I'm not into taking care of grown men. All right. 8700 K and just keep getting worse. I'm trying to, I'm trying to let her cook. Come on, man. Stop the cap. Strike one through three have already been given to this woman. She pretty talking about 100 K. She off the bones for talking about respect and can't chew his nails. He can lie, but he can't do so. I, I can't keep listen. It's over. It's over. It's unfortunate, not really. This is a, this is a prototype gatekeeper slash auntie. She she's so hurt. Look at her. Y'all see that face? Y'all see that scowl? See that? That means it's over. She ain't got nothing for you. She ain't got nothing for you. You love to wake up at 12 midnight. She'd be over in the corner crying like Blair Witch Project. Don't do it. There you go. As my girl Dime would say, where you at, Dime? Ain't nobody else there, witch. And you got to lay in that motherfucking bed by your motherfucking self. That's when it's going to hit your stupid ass. That's when it's going to hit you. All right. All right. Oh, that's bull crap. Dime don't get no credit. But I've been telling y'all y'all going to be crying. Now, hey, listen, now y'all Dime said it. Dime said it. All right, Dime. I've been telling y'all for almost a year now that y'all gonna be in that big crowd. Okay, Dime get credit. That's right. Here we go. Shout out to Dime. Uh, be able to take care of yourself. Um, do they have to look I, a certain time? I make that. I make that, so I'm not worried about it. Right. I don't need him to pay my bills, but I need him to be able to take care of himself. Nice. Um, does he have to look a certain type of way? No, not okay. at all. So, I'm really not. Because at the end of the day, feel. the pretty dudes, the pretty dudes, they got too many. It's too much wholeness up in them, and they running around, and I ain't got time for it. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, do not hit her up. She won't hold this list, man. Okay. Um, so no certain type of way. That's good to know. Um, what's the age range you looking for, Tamika? Um, I'm 42, so I'm like 50 and up. 50 and up. Um when was your no young dudes. I don't want none of you young dudes. So don't even try to hit the DM because I'm about to block your ass. What? I don't want nothing to do with y'all. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop now with y'all. 50 and up, y'all. 50 and up. When was your last relationship, Tamika? Um, 2020. Okay. That was about three years ago. Um, when was the last time you were intimate? You don't have to answer. I was intimate with someone the last time, February of this year. Stop lying. <laughs> oh, she said. That's Stop my lying. cousin. She's lying like I'm a motherfucker. I'm here the When the last time you were intimate, cuz? Fucking no, hey, no, hey, hey, move, move, move. Fuck that. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, 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 Y'all yeah, know what they Y'all know what they doing What they doing Y'all know the vibe in that house They all sitting around They all about half a hundo He up here half a hundo with a pink With a With a, with a pink uh, Polo association uh, Shirt uh, Tall T on A pink fitted And and um and from from the math we just did the last contestant i'm gonna assume that chain ain't real <laughs> all right how old are we what are we doing that's all we got to do better shout out to the big dog the oh uh, yeah this brother come on screen i don't remember asking you a goddamn thing uh, look at this it this how many uh too many y'all in the chat can relate this y'all uncle yes this is uncle nug nug <laughs> he, he trying to see what the move is he trying to hang he listen all bad all bad all bad 
So here we go, oh, man. G Honda has swung the block again. Here we go. <laughs> He says, to the sub, but let Nug Nug speak. Okay. And shout out to my guy, Eric Jordan. He says, Mr. Six Figures don't want your old behind. B.I. It's over. I agree. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Listen, well, yeah, we know out. it's over. Yeah, yeah. We, we know it's over. We just got to keep drawing attention to the delusion. We know it's over. But we got to let y'all see, just so we don't sound so crazy. Bonquisha, week after week, she on that same jacket. Man. So here we go. The sub getting warmed up. All right. Shout out to my guy Chubby. He says, is that Pee Wee from the house party? <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody know, know somebody that look just like this brother. Just like them, all gouted out, swole up, got that big, got that big, uh, big swole up, tight stomach. Y'all know. So here we go. Also, we got a cash out come in. So my guy Don, Don then hit the cash out. Don said he got one in the chamber. He on the roof. So y'all on one right now, all right? So, huh. Yeah, Don got That's one in the chamber, if you don't know. Uh, that how you just going to come in the cash app and not show your face? And he just he just chilling, just chilling. Okay, we get it. And and, and genuine Don for him. I get it. So here we go. We're going to let Nug Nug finish, put them in the sub, per request from my guy G Honda. Let's hear what he got to say. The drunkle. Uh-huh. Now, it's all I'm gonna tell you the real about this motherfucker. She's still in. She's still in. No, it's yours. But no, we're gonna finish. We're gonna wrap her up. So we're gonna finish up. Thank you, sir. You're laughing and shit. You're laughing and shit. She's almost done. Don't block my blessing. You feel me? She's laughing and shit. I'm about to look at all the time. This is my cuz. She all right. This is my cuz. I'm just messing with her, though. That's all. You see what I'm saying? I look Looking fucked up, y'all. I know I'm look fucked up, but I'm a little drunk. I'm a little. I hit a couple of blunts. I'm kind of partying right now. Tamika, we almost Bruh. done. We almost done. Uh, let's do the kitchen cam, oh, and then we're gonna. Oh Lord. Okay. We let her stand up. What we gonna do? Go outside with the kids. Tell your cousin to hold the phone because he wanna do some shit. Hell. Tell your cousin to hold yeah. the phone. I just jump. I just. I just shut my shit off. No, no, we not the phone. No, hold her phone so we can do the kids. This is again. terrible. You see, what I'm saying I don't even wanna see the rest of it. Cause here's the deal: you end up dating this woman. And now she want to drag you over there. What are we doing this weekend, babe? Oh, we going over my cousin in them house. I don't want to be around them Negroes. Going to play spades and and tonk, whatever y'all ninjas yeah, they play. Got a case. Play. They got a case in the bottle and they got, they you know what I mean? We about to go over there and get lit. <laughs> they got they got a keg and a party ball. They still got a party ball. Oh, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> got a, got a, we got a party ball of OE. All right, it's going down tonight. We got some, we got some uh, moonshine made by a cousin from uh, West Virginia, and we're gonna be howling at the moon until we pass us out on the lawn. You heard me? Here we go. Shout out to Mo on the go. She says, "Uncle gonna be getting on your nerves." Yeah, boom, shakalaka. Nobody dealing You're, with that. You see him. Aggressive, touchy feely, effing yucking. So, what's the message? Some we know that your friends can make you undateable. A lot of people understand, even your family can make you undateable. Yeah, because she's hanging out with her, with her, who's that, her cousin, her uncle. She's hanging out with her cousin, uncle, like it's her, like it's her friend. Like it's, yeah, whatever. And there was other men in the background and women. And I like know said, what it was. Uh, like you said, it ain't got nothing to do with being social or not. Don't nobody want to be around that, but a certain type of person. Nug nug. What they talking about? What's the topics of discussion? What they talking about? I guarantee you ain't nobody talking about uh progressively moving forward again to no brand. They talk about getting money. You know, they talk about it. 
but ain't nothing materialized. They just talk, yeah, 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 and get drunk. So here we go. The sub all warmed up. Shout out to G Honda. Shout out to my guy, Energy Don't Die. He come through. He says, just a little something for the plate. I'm late, single by choices, my baby. That's how you do it. Y'all see it. Energy Don't Die. Just hit the plate and he pass it around. Uh, support your interest. Support the channel. Hit that cash app. Hit that super chat. Y'all know what to do. So here we go. The subs all warmed up, people. We're going to get this off the screen. I don't think she was done, but she done. <laughs> so here we go. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time in wait. In the water, something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, there we go. Over for that. We appreciate you guys for hitting the cash out super chat. Um, also make sure you're hitting the like button if you're just coming into the room, okay? Uh Oh, my bad here. We're going to pull what we say. He's sweating E and J. Uh -huh. <laughs> that Irkin jerk. Man. Yeah. I don't know. Then in there, like you said, I ain't going to go down that rabbit hole. I'm going to leave it be. Leave it be. So here we go. Shout out to Devil Games. And there's a little something for the plate. We appreciate you, brother, for supporting your interest. We're going to pull this next sister up. Money, 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 money. He passing the plate around here, and here we go. Let me catch my time stamp. We working towards Muncho. Stick around, stick around. Muncho. Got to summon Muncho. Like, like something in the Kraken. That's how you summon Muncho. Muncho. <laughs> yeah, this may be the last of Muncho because, you know, we're going to uh, – you know how, like, say, I could rock with Dime a little bit, but Mancho, man. Um, listen, just stay with me. Folks like Mancho and Diamond are modern day traveling circus acts, respectfully. But y'all got to understand what I'm saying. My guy, he said, oh, no, not Mancho. <laughs> <laughs> yes, y'all asked for it. Listen. Huh. Come on, if y'all, I don't care how tough y'all think y'all is. If y'all are out in the middle of the woods and it's getting dark and y'all turn around all of a sudden and y'all see the glory that is Muncho, y'all gonna let out, let out a holler. <laughs> what kind of holler? I ain't even gonna do it. We'll save it. We'll say, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Uh, hey, a man trying not to scream, just holler. Ah. Oh, I'm trying to tell you. Make sure you guys hit the like button. I think we got a some four for four madness on the screen. Here we go. Ooh, look at that back. Uh -huh. call me, honey. Yeah, before we even get going, so a lot of times I don't be catching. I mean, I'll be doing, but man, ooh, that look that real. Uh, huh? That look real Grand Theft Auto Vice City ish. Very. That look very uh the big. The opening of uh of uh I forget the Al Pacino movie. Look like uh shout out to the Magnolia. Shout out to the Magnolia project. She is somewhere in New Orleans <laughs> or something, man. I'm trying to tell you. Woo! There we go. This is like something that didn't get fixed after Katrina. All right, you understand? Here we go. Roger that. I'm from Louisiana, but I Oh my God. She did not just say she I was, I was, I was bull driving. Yeah. I, hey. I, I promise you. The jokes is turning into reality way too much. <laughs> Life is starting damn. to imitate art to an extreme. You can call, it's a shame you could call it out. Five seconds, where's she at? Nolens, somewhere uh, uh, surrounded by destitution. 
No, that's crazy, go. man. I don't know. Holy hell. It seems to myself sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. Holy hell. Oh, you live in Las Vegas now? Yeah, I live here. Nice. I've been living here for the last four years. Oh, she All in right. Vegas. Cool. How old are you and what's your zodiac sign? I'm what did she? Let me um, run this back. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then just a little bit back from the camera. All right, there you go. Perfect. All right, uh, cool. What's your name? Where you from? And how old are you? My Kaya. Everybody call me honey. I'm from Louisiana, but I'm from Las Vegas. Oh, you live okay. in Las Vegas now? Oh, she in Vegas. So now that's like more like like uh area fifty one or something. I don't know. There we go. Is. Vegas like Reno nine one one, but she from Louisiana. Here we go. She in Reno. Here we go. Here we go. I live here. Nice. I've been living here for the last four years. Okay. Cool. How old are you and what's your zodiac sign? I'm three. Um and I'm a Scorpio. Okay. It was a little breaking up. How old did you say? Four. 43. 43. Oh, y'all been looking good tonight. 43 Scorpio. Come on, black. If you're a black girl. If you're a black girl. All right, y'all. This is Tadia. You want me to call you honey or Tadia? Call me honey. Everybody call me honey. I got one of them names. Okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, so if I do like this, that's just me backing your head up a little bit because it's cutting your face off. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. I don't want your face to get cut off. There you go. So yeah, be keep like that. This is Honey uh, from Las Vegas, 43. She's a Scorpio. Uh, and what do you do for a living? Customer service. I work at the airport. Okay. Oh, nice. You got buddy passes? Uh, come holler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, you have any kids? Yes, I do. I have three kids, um, 25, 21, and 14. Oh like you have kids that, oh are they all about the same uh man no okay how many different sex? two okay um cool have you ever been married yes yes okay when did you get divorced uh i've been divorced for two years now um oh. and i'm married for 11. oh you was married for 11. okay oh wow damn i'll be getting when that happen uh, I think the Wi-Fi is cool. Sometimes it. So here we go, man. Three for two. Um, I see Don in the chat. Oh boy, where you at, Don? Don see, said, "Hey, man, we ain't about to." Y'all know he got one in the chamber. So holy hell. <laughs> okay, so she yeah. Okay, so she did, huh? Is she go? Uh, well, here we go. Shout out to hold on. So, y'all own one right now. I can't even. So, here we go. Don done skip this one. A right. hey, cash app come in. All right. Let me see if y'all can see. We're trying to. Y'all see that? The 40 uh -huh. piece. My girl, Danny Nicole, just dropped the 40 piece in the cash app. She said, rewind them first two plays. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go, Betty. You know how this night gonna go. Here we go. Here uh, we go. Y'all gonna make me work tonight, huh? <laughs> Holy hell. Okay. She gone. Let's see how I catch my time step. <laughs> Shout out to my girl, Danny Nicole. She come through with the $40 cash app. Danny said, we're winding them first, too. Y'all ain't about to mess her show up. So we going back to the very first Bone Quisha, amazing. Here we go. It's gonna be a long night. Hunker in. Oh. Y'all like this madness. Come on. There we go. Um, catch my time stamp. Like I said, the customer always right, Mr. Walker. Uh, yes, we can't deny. We cannot deny. So here we go. We're gonna pull this first sister back up. And here we go. Shout out to Danny Nicole, people. <laughs> I always see you. I don't want to. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Right. So Zaire, right? Yes, Zaire. Zaire, Baltimore, twenty-two Scorpio bus A, but she's going to get her license to drive the bus. No kids. What kind of man are you looking for, a girl? So right now, I'm looking for a man. Um, 
I'm looking for a man with money. I'm not going to lie. I'm 22. I'm trying to build my life. I like older men. So I want somebody that's already established or trying to get there. I don't mind being submissive. I'm not really, but I will. I can be, you know, if you're bringing in enough. Bringing in enough but, so if he brings enough money, you can be submissive. I, it sounds wrong, but yeah. Well, how much money does he have to bring in for you to be submissive? Central. Where I'm from, they don't make a lot. So anything, just be able, like they say, just be able to take care of yourself and take me out. You know, take me out sometimes. I like gifts. I like nice things. I keep myself up. So I would like for him to, you know, just do the same. Okay. Uh, we got there fast. So what are your deal breakers? I don't really do kids. I don't like kids that much. Um, I love babies, but like after three, I don't, I'm not really be a fan of men with kids. Uh, anybody who is not working to better themselves, who doesn't have like goals, stuff like that, I'm not really interested. Oh, uh, so she uh, she ain't into that S H I T. This girl, 22 years old. Obviously, y'all know what the software is. Where she at? It's unfortunate, Mr. Walker. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. You know what? She is making a little bit of sense. Y'all was quick to skip her. But she is some logic behind her bone quisha thinking. She said, you know what? I'm trying to build my life. I'm not trying to deal with no young nug nugs. She said, at the very least, bring me an old established nug nug. Somebody that could tell me sweeter lies than these younger ones. So Yeah, but she, she started off talking about she in the hood. It's a, come on now. So Okay, what can she do about that? What can she do about where she only 22? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Six Figures don't care about that. He don't care he about... Really, yeah, really yeah. you see what I'm saying? That is, he about to say, oh, I understand you from the hood and you gonna poke me in my head sometimes. Nah. Did she want... Oh. Yeah, she do want Mr. Six Figures. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's get a taste yeah. with this. Let's see. <laughs> um, And I like... I like bigger dudes sometimes, but if you are on the heavier side, please be funny. Be funny. So he can be heavy, but he has to be funny? Yes. Please. Tell me why. Because I made the sexy, heavy ones, and it's like, no. <laughs> what about kids? Can he have kids already? Um, it's fine. Just not too many. I'm from Baltimore, though, so who knows what okay. we'll get. These people looking at me like a crazy. Do you want to be in Baltimore? <laughs> you want to be now. We can travel. Do you want kids yourself? I do, but I don't want to have kids out of wet life. I'm yes, yeah, I'm just coming from church. So well, let me see I'm you church really... this time for the Kendrick camp. Let me see what you wore to church today. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna sit right here. Mind you, I can't see myself. Oh, so, can, am, okay. am I good? All right, hey, you look cute. Oh, praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Well, there you go. Got them long hairs. Here's what I'll say. I, right. you got these women. Oh boy. So that's the end of her. So here we go. Before we get to that, all right. Here's my disclaimer, real quick. I just got a question, all right? Not speaking about this woman in particular, but women with these long braids, all right? Okay. You see women with braids down, and they always down past their butt, rubbing on their butt. And you know that sometimes they be stinking. So that's, and you know they don't wash their hair. So I'm like, what do their hair be? Do they just always, that's why they always spraying stuff in it. You trying to stay with me, right? Okay. You, yeah. you, you rubbing that hair all over your backside all day. You know you, you know you, this be big sisters. You know, come on, man. Yeah, come on. It's hot. And you know where we at? Ve it. Vegas, Louisiana. Y they be up here on the kinder camp with boob sweat, fanning they self, flies flying around, green heat waves coming up off of them. Yeah, y'all know. You right, Gab. Y'all can't wash that wet and wavy, that kink on. Y'all can't be washing that. It'll degrade and break down and go back to the earth. So y'all got it just be funky, and y'all just keep spritzing it 
with with Bath and Body Works and stuff. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's terrible. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. Just a PSA. I was saying that the other day. I was walking. The, the big sister said, hair all running down between a leg. I say, I know that hair stank. That's what I just kept saying. High jeans, high jeans with the nest. High jeans go both ways. Not just for Nug Nug. Boom, Quisha, too. You got to make sure your high jeans is, is up to par. All right. <laughs> So here we go. Just my thoughts. Just my thoughts, people. All right. Shout out to my guy G Honda. Now back to this. Where we at? Um, okay. So so Wop G Honda just took her out. Uh, uh, Danny Nicole bought her back from the grave. But now we back to contestant number two. Cause uh, Danny Nicole dropped the forty piece. Yeah, just, yeah. So the drunk auntie and uncle. We gonna get back to them here. So we'll send the junior band out for her. I guess. Again, or are we just gonna move? Because, like I said, yeah. we ain't no decision. Yeah, she, this is uh, um, no decision. There you go. She young, it ain't looking good per usual, but it ain't over. We can't say that. So, here we go. Shout out to Rakai Media. Come through with the super chat. Says Mr. Walker and Gavin X. I'm late to the SBC broadcast. Something for the collection plate. <laughs> Fuse, baby. Little twos and fuse go a long way. We appreciate the support. We appreciate you, brother. So here we go. We're going to bring back out the drunk family. All right. And see what she wasn't Ooh, done, actually. So Y'all know what they doing. This scene is amazing. They all around the table. They got a couple of decks of cars. Somebody got uh, some loaded dice. And they out here. They hollering at the moon. Drinking cheap booze, you know, eating, you know, uh, microwavable pizza and stuff. They wilding. This is gonna say they got time. some loaded, some loaded dice. <laughs> Come on now, it's a good time. Listen here, ain't nothing wrong with a good hillbilly good time every now and again, but it can't be every weekend. There we go. Let's see what we got. <laughs> No, we finna, we finna finish. We finna wrap her up. So we gotta, we gotta let her finish up. But thank you, sir. Don't block up blessings. You feel me? Let me finish it. I'm about to look at all hey, the time. This my cuz. She all right. This my cuz. I'm just messing with her, though. That's oh, all. Okay. And I look Thank fucked up, y'all. I know I am look fucked up, but I'm a little drunk. I'm a little... I hit a couple of blunts. I'm okay. kind of partying right there. Tamika, we almost done. We almost done. Uh, let's do the Kendra cam, and then we're gonna. Oh Lord! The... Okay, hold Please on. Don't fall off. Is... What are we gonna do? The... Go outside with the Kendra. Tell your cousin to hold the phone since he want to do some shit. Hey. Tell your cousin to hold the phone. I just jump. I just. I just shut my shit off. Hold on. We not do the No, hold her phone so we can do the Kendra cam. We gonna do it. Too. No, we gonna do it. Yeah, you got some light. Okay, cuz. Come on, cuz. Shit. She yeah, ain't got no. Go. Yeah. I could have did that in that Put room. Put a light up. Okay, here we go. Okay. Can you see me? Can you see uh, no. me? Okay, we got your full body. Your full body. Hold on, man. Hold on. We got you. Okay, Come hold on. Cause. Make yourself useful now since you want to see the video. I'm good. I got you. I got you. Oh, I'm going to hang up on y'all. Come on now. Go down. You, you have to show the whole body. body. Tell him to go back. Go back. Go back. Oh, my God. Y'all both drunk. No, I'm not. You can't see your legs. Tell him to oh, you got get her legs. The whole get body. Get her whole body. I don't get how you do your phone, Come nigga. Man, this is like this. Oh my God, man! Damn, son, where'd you find this? This is like the scene off of Django when my man, uh, his wife, made the mask. He said, "We can't see out of these things." He said, "Who made these masks?" He said, "My wife made them." These are adults. <laughs> these are adults. These are supposed to be fully, fully formed brains, fully formed, functioning adults. Yeah, this. 
This is a hood norm, though. I mean, Gab was just talking about this, how the drunk aunties and uncles, the drunkles, good one, drunkles get to acting all wild. They, act, they ain't got no sense. These is, they have a hundo behaving in this manner. Not, not in secrecy, not in private, not somewhere deep in the woods where they shame, you know, is hitting amongst the trees. They on Beyonce's internet. <laughs> God damn. So here we go, man. Uh, they ain't make you far, apparently. <laughs> Tonight, one of them nights, I see. Mm. Oh, Mr. Wolf. Okay. All right. You know what? That's fine. Yeah, I know how y'all do. Y'all just want to hear madness, see the Kendrick cam, and move on anyway. Whatever. So here we go. We didn't see that wonky Kendra cam. She real top heavy. What y'all call her chesticles is just a dangling hanging out. So here we go, man. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Um, here we go. Shout out to my guy, Eric Jordan. You know what? Um, we got something new tonight, people. Here we go, Mr. Walker. We got, we done started a school around here. All right. And who in charge of the school, y'all asking? Who other than Big Dime? This okay. is the school of diamondology. All right. Yes. Okay. Diamond, we got our own class anymore. Right? So so sometimes we send people to the sub, they get the band. Some people going to school anymore. Okay. When it's okay, so when it's not over, we just we're gonna send them to Big Dime to get re-educated, miseducated. There okay. you go. Or get some sense talked into them. So all right, all right. there you go. In honor of lesson one in school of diamondology, diamond has a word for everybody in that house. All right, not just her, everybody. All right, here we go. <laughs> just go take your stupid ass, go get in a motherfucking closet, break the fuck down, ask God to forgive give you and come into your got the stupid ass life because going to church and just to say you motherfucking went ain't gonna motherfucking cut it when you coming on here doing the same stupid ass motherfucking shit that's some tough love for your motherfucking ass all right shout did out you, to diamond did you get that that's chapter one all right chapter one cry in in a, in a fit of depression and, and anguish there you go. Shout out to my girl, Diamond. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? And shout out to Eric Jordan for the skip, brother. We're trying to stop all these mercenary tears from flowing. We're trying. That's what we're trying to stop. All these mercenaries talk about is crying, crying, crying. From Taraji to, to this heifer and that heifer. Just... Just crying at night, 12 midnight, just tears streaming down their face. We trying to save one mercenary tear at a time. Y'all help us help you. Here we go. Like I said, shout out to my guy Eric Jordan. We've been slipping on the uh on the snipers, but we appreciate you. Eric Jordan came out the woodworks. Gotta forget, bring the snipers out. Shout out to my guy, Eric Jordan. We appreciate you, brother. Uh -huh. We're going to move off of this sister, obviously. She done went to school. Hopefully, Godspeed. Yeah, study real hard. You know, you got to study hard in the, uh, <laughs> what is it? The diamondology, the school of diamondology. <laughs> you know what? That's actually, a diamondologist is actually a profession. But this diamond, this diamond not so rare, not so pretty. Not so shiny, all right. This diamond got a lot of flaws. A lot. This this diamond got an extensive past, as she like to say. <laughs> In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? <laughs> so here we go. Where we at? We gonna keep the show moving. All right. So those was the last. We back fresh. We got a clean slate. Um, I catch this timestamp. The show starting to heat up now. Where we at? Yeah, it's starting to heat up for sure. We own a y'all own one. We're gonna bring Mancho out. 
So stay tuned to the end of the oh, show. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all really want Muncho? Y'all do understand she untamed. Untamed <laughs> evil. Untamed. It, we're going to skim through it. You got to skim through Muncho. You can't even get too concentrated on one. You know what I mean? You just got to skip. All right, here we go. This is to hear. I think this is a gatekeeper, people. Or or one in training. All right. Yeah, this is somebody in the early gatekeeper stages, pre-gatekeeper. Gate gatekeeper apprentice. But not even. This is somebody applying for a license. There you okay. go. Okay. So she's Dang. applying, waiting to hear back. Here we go. Name is Tahila, like tequila, like the drink, but with an H, Tahila. Okay, I am wow. 52. Ooh, and and um, what's that? You know, I do skincare, you know, skincare. Black do not correct. Skincare. Hey. I only even had his makeup still on because I just came in from work and I jumped on. So otherwise, y'all would have seen the naked me. But, and what was your third question? Tahila, 52, how, um, uh, Zodiac sign, and um, where you from? Okay, I am, um, I'm a Taurus, May Taurus though, not April, no shade, but a little bit. Taurus in the belly. <laughs> yeah. And what, where are you from? I am from Chicago, Illinois, yeah. or Illinois, if you're not from here. Chi-town all day. You do not look 52. The comments is You do not look 52. Thank you all. I appreciate it. And when I get the rest of this weight off, I'm really going to look great. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it can be done. Come on. It so can be done. Be from Chicago, she's a Taurus. What do you do for it? It is. So I am daytime. I am the Clinique Boutique Manager. So I do skincare, makeup, all that good stuff. And then I also have my own businesses. So I'm a caterer. I'm a writer, director, producer, former um, actress and singer. But, you know, I like to be on the behind the scenes. I want to give out checks. I want to give out checks. Oh, here we go. In case y'all forgot, this is she had over a half a hundo. Not to say, like I said, not wrong with smiling, but yeah. it, you, you crossing the line of arrested development. There, there we go. If you got this, this sister here, this grandma, she over half a hundo. Bless her heart. If if she's somebody's wife, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. You know, going going on 30, 25 years. Now we now we talking, but no, you out here on this cool, cruel, cold sexual marketplace looking for a man. Like Gavin said, displaying nothing short of arrested development. So you you given all these accolades, you are about to insinuate you want some kind of valuable man. You ain't yeah. saying all this to say I want somebody from Dollar General. You ain't say all that to say that. Cause I like to travel. And and I I'm established and I got peace, six figures. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here we go. <laughs> okay, Clinique. Yes. That's why your skin popping. Yo, you a skincare. I try. You I to try hard. Skin regimen. Yes. Writing, acting, and things. So maybe before we get off the live, we're gonna ask for twenty seconds. But I'm gonna get through the questions first because I don't like put people on the spot. Because the Hong Kong lady. Made up words, so I but I love her song. I'm seriously, that's my song. <laughs> my my is back. Is back. Okay, <laughs> so then, have you been married? Never married. Well, not legally. Never married. Do you have any kids? What? No, no kids. Zero. Settle. Settle. <laughs> Settle. No marriage. No kids. All right. Let's just get to it, y'all. Tahila Fifty Two Tours from Chicago, Clinique Boutique Manager, Actress, Caterer, Singer. No kids, never been married, and let's go. What type of guy you looking for, Tahila? Oh, now see, I was gonna write something, but I don't want to write something. It's simply, I need someone who knows how to match my existence. Okay. Wow. That's really what it is at the end of the day. Like, whoa! Damn, son, where'd you find this? God, damn. Stop the cap. <laughs> When Boom Quisha come up with these new philosophies and insights in this, it's like a it's like a Dragon Ball Z energy burst straight to the chest. Wop like golly, Boom Quisha, not back your whole existence. We got 
Y'all say hypergamy. She said hypergamy. I got your hypergamy in one sentence. Forget all that. Make this much. Forget all that. Travel. Forget all that. Match my existence. Wow. Here we go. Where we at? Back, back with my girl Dime. Here we go. So at some point in your time, at some point in life, you got to sit here and understand, man, that everything ain't just fun and gee, 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 he, he, motherfucking he. All right. Shit. Everything ain't he, 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 mother <laughs> sucking gee, gee, gee. Stop playing and joking, joking and playing when you out here over half a hundo. Continue. Here we go. The energy, the connection, the chemistry. Am I okay? Yeah. Okay. It's just when y'all start to go, I'll just do this so y'all can just lift it up. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Somebody that understands how to, you know, match the chemistry, meet me where I'm at. I'm going to meet with him where he's at. I mean, everybody says the tr traditional answers, you know, about what kind of man they're looking for. But at the end of the day, at 52, I've tried it all. Mm -hmm. So maybe what I've been doing is wrong. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, just match her, match yeah. her, just, just give her what she's gonna give you, reciprocate. And uh, okay, I like that. Do he have to look a certain type of way? Well, he doesn't have to necessarily look a certain type of way, but he has definitely got to be into hygiene, grooming, self care. So okay. well, let's say he might be overweight. I'm overweight, technically, according to you know America. But I used to be 320 pounds, so now, Whoa. you know, I'm no longer that. And Whoa. What? Oh, it's getting worse. And then, it, here we go. If she was proud enough to say 320, she was 350. Uh, that's just my math. She was 350, man. You stop that. You <laughs> stop that. You know, because technically, you know, I'm overweight considering america's european beauty standards set back in 1752 feudal age if you consider and all that then i may be probably considered if you think about it overweight you know if you're on this side of makes a dixon but i really don't think i'm overweight here we, go. here we go mr walker she said i was 320 pounds but i was overweight according to american standards i guess you shut your line nigga lips up <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> when my when my baby be crying, I be saying, "Shut your crying baby lips up." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boom, <Bulls -tackle> shakalaka. <laughs> Listen, three twenty, three twenty. At my heaviest, I think I was three oh one. Like three oh one, and I'm six two. Three oh one, and I was I was embarrassingly fat. And she a whole woman, I guarantee you she ain't six foot. And she talking about three for the 20. Oh, here we go. Right before she said all that, I see, uh, I think your name is Tori. She said she didn't say anything tangible was the issue. And then she just dropped. I mean, she's been saying a lot. She's been saying a lot, actually. So for somebody 300 some pounds, come on now. Yeah, and, and, and over half a hundo, you, you out here and you single and you looking for something respectable and you over half a hundo in today's sexual marketplace you off base just from that don't care what you got going on it ain't idea great like that so here we go shout out to my guy eric jordan he said that's a huge bi you still 300 yeah let's see this kendra can go see <laughs> here, here we go there's a can for that <laughs> I'm still yeah. working on it. everybody it says the tr traditional answers, you know, about what kind of man they're looking for. But at the end of the day, at 52, I've tried it all. Mm -hmm. So maybe what I've been doing is wrong. Okay. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just match her energy, yeah. match her, just, just give her what she's gonna give you, reciprocate. And uh, okay, I like that. Do he have to look a certain type of way? Well, he doesn't have to necessarily look a certain type of way, but he has definitely got to be into hygiene, grooming, self-care. So okay. well, let's say he might be overweight. I'm overweight, technically, according to, you know, America. But I used to be 320 pounds. So now, you know, I'm no longer that. And I'm still yeah. working on me. It's a constant daily lifestyle. 
that's the biggest thing I care about. If he's working on himself and I, we're attracted to each other, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, I mean, that's real. Okay. So, no, okay. So he doesn't have to look at something well. Just be clean, groomed, and. He, he can't have missing. teeth missing and like bad breath is my, is my turn off. Okay. So, so he deal breaker. Deal breaker. Bad breath. What liar, a liar, a liar, a liar, a liar. Because mm. we all are flawed individuals, right? We all got shit, mm -hmm. like real talk. I got shit, he's going to have shit. We're going to have past shit, present shit, maybe future shit, okay? Yeah. But it's all about him being able to admit and have accountability for himself because that's where I'm at. I, I literally am like, be accountable, bitch. You're 52 <laughs> and you're still out here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah. And that's so, good. He can be. So, he can say the same thing. He can say to himself, "Be accountable, bitch. Don't be a bitch." Yeah. Stand up. You know. That's, see, that's a hard for a lot of people, especially on this show in particular. So deal breakers, liar, bad breath. So here we go, man. Once again, uh, let's get walking. Um, uh -huh. I see Tori. She come back. She says she just wants someone to bring the same energy. That's the problem. The energy she thinks she rectoring at. It ain't it ain't hitting on that rector scale the way she thinking. Yeah. So she thinking she measuring somewhere that she ain't. She up here cursing like a sailor, which is unbecoming. She over she over fifty years old. The the, the open sexual marketplace is cruel and cold and ruthless and unforgiving. They don't care about nothing she got going on. And and listen here. I hope she do find exactly what she deserve. I hope everybody find what they deserve. But at 320, some NFL linemen are considered overweight, but she only considered overweight by American standards. Y'all, I'm sure you got to put this into context as far as weight. 300? So what's more than likely to walk in this house? El Cal, can he grow? Yes. Uh, that's a, a nug nug. Y'all know who coming in this house, man. Couch Negro can match her energy. You know, she said, I got ish, he got ish. We got past ish, present ish, and we probably don't have future ish. This is a dating show. It was my understanding that Bone Quishas was supposed to be coming into this, trying to entice and trick a man into this. This is not enticing. <laughs> so here we go. Have any other deal breakers? Um, he can't be an enabler because I need him to be able to tell the truth. Even if he thinks it's going to make me feel uncomfortable, he cares enough about me to tell me the truth. I like that. I love that, actually, because that is very important. Okay, cool. Do we have to make a certain amount of money? Um, Yes and no. Here's the reason why. We just literally came out of a pandemic. There was millionaires that lost everything. There's corporations that lost everything. So well, we could get married and he could be a millionaire, right? And that'd be fantastic because money helps us, you know, get along in life. But then what happens when he loses it all? Mm -hmm. I got to be able to be willing to say, yo, rich or poor, death do us part. You know, not that I believe in traditional marriage, but yeah, that's okay. another conversation. So did she answer the question? I'm, I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, and, and that's whoever that was saying that, you know, you hope this lady get what she wants. She ever playing make believe. I'm talking <laughs> about when she, she said, Listen, do we got to make a certain amount? Do y'all not hear her answer and see how that's such emotional damage? Do we got to make a certain amount? Answer, yes and no. Why yes and no? Because understand there's corporations and businesses that during the pandemic, they was in theirs and then they lost it all. So if, if y'all, this is her. So when he, so when my millionaire man, my millionaire man, Millionaire, seven figures, point zero 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 one percent. Once if he loses money, I got to better hold him down with my income because I was a boss. I tell you what, as a great man once said, <laughs> fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. Right off the rip, the fitness isn't there. All right. The cheat, the cheat code, y'all. You know, y'all don't even know how to cheat. Giving y'all the just answers to the test. Fit, feminine, submissive, you get pretty dang near whatever you want. Won't do it. Won't do it. There we go. Yeah, this woman here throwing the whole feng shui to show off. 
you know, she she wanted to do the questions in her order. So let's see. She's going to catch the Kendra cam. Here we go. Oh, boy. What we got? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there we go. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. There we go. Huh. I guess we ain't getting back to much, huh? Shout out. Uh, Project Leroy says, Kendra Cam and Skip. Give her the band. I agree, the old school. So, man, shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. As If you don't know, now you know. He got his sniper on, too. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. Got her from deep. That was like a one mile. That was a big target, though. It was hard to miss. Yeah, see what I'm saying? See that? See that, Bonquisha? You ain't such a big target. Maybe you ain't so easy to hit. <laughs> yeah! So let's see if we can catch this Kendra Cam. Uh, like I say, this woman here was doing things in her own order the other night. I seen because Kendra has a sort of method to her madness. And this woman was like, I'm going to do it my way. So, But nonetheless, where we at? I need to see this. Where we at? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. Hold on. She, I already know what's, what it's here for. She half a hundo. She lost weight. It, see what I'm saying? Um, It's been, been almost. It's only because I ain't had time. That's the I'm I'm trying to get about the bag. You've been so busy to have sex? I have. What? I really have. I ain't never been to that. <laughs> okay. Well. But no, I get it. I get it. They want you to do the Kendra cam, so we're going to go ahead and do the Kendra cam. Now. She's been too busy to ask you a question. Okay. Okay. Now I got to move a little bit. Is that all right? Uh, yes. She's been too busy to me, to me. Hold on. Setting it up. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. wait. My hair is too cute. All right, Kendra Cam. There we ow. go. Ow, ow, ow. Cute. Cute, cute. Where we at, uh, Chubby? Oh. Huh? Oh, she gave a little wiggle. Okay, oh, yeah. Chubby. Huh? Chubby, she getting in there. She can fit in the AMG, Mr. Walker, and the submarine, all that. <laughs> she gave a little wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, uh, Tori, I hope she finds, you know, what she's looking for and that she finds happiness at the end of that delusional rainbow. No. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Boom, taka -laka. I think it back. So there we go. Obviously, we know from dealing with kinder contestants that just because a man will clap cheeks, that does mean a relationship. So there you go. She can at least land a relationship with Big Dog Chubby. There you go. Uh -huh. Yeah, so she cut me in. Big sister, she priced. Uh, here we go. In honor of Muncho. Muncho coming out tonight. Muncho coming out, but Muncho got a message for the big sisters. All uh, right, here we go. Ooh, ooh. The big backs. The big back holes. Ooh, ooh. The big back bitches. 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 Ooh, ooh. Who the big back bitches? Ooh, who the big back bitches? Ooh, who the big back bitch? The leave me the fuck alone. All right. <laughs> oh Lord! Damn, son, where'd you find this? Macho! Oh my goodness, that is unreal. That is unreal. Oh my goodness! Oh, where did it come from? From from what depth? Did that emerge? Bless it. Bless it. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get that? through this tonight. You we see that? Even, <laughs> even excess weight will break down the sister code. Y'all know that ain't sister code. Y'all y'all don't let each other know that y'all part of the broad back clan. Y'all know that. Y'all ain't supposed to do that. Muncho, you out of bounds. <laughs> hey, hey. I can't pronounce your name, brother, but keep that energy. Keep that hey, energy. The, the hey, 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 dog. 
I hey listen. Hey, hey, y'all really don't know what y'all live for, and that's it's hilarious. Listen here, I don't know what's coming, but I know much. I know Muncho. That's what I do know. Oh Lord, y'all crazy, man. So here we go. Uh, hey, shout out, shout out to my guy Chubby. <laughs> Uh, he said, "If they pay like they weigh, they can stay on okay. forward now." Oh, uh, they're saying that you got to pay to play, pay what you weigh. Okay, that's some right I could do for you. You got to pay to play, pay what you pay what you weigh, big shirt. <laughs> uh, so here we go, man. Shout out to my guy Project Leroy. Y'all off the hook tonight. It's only gonna get worse. I know tonight. It's about to go from zero to a hundred. Even with these next Kendra contestants, Lee, I already know what it's about to hit for. So put your seatbelts on. All right. Click clack. Let's go. <laughs> so the band at the fifty. Uh, shout out to my guy. All right, we got Chubby. Here we go. Shout out to Project Leroy. We appreciate you, brother. With a Godfather that over the hills, through the woods. Yes. Textbook. Hmm. Here we go. Big Pearly, Big Shirley, simmer down. You know what? Um, and she sat up here and fought that accountability as much as she could. I can't get over that. You know, because technically, based on the body mass index chart, you know, and, and unfair studies and biased opinions, some may consider me to be overweight too at 320. You know? You know? Oh. Uh. Yeah, that was wild. She had some gall. That was gall. Some cultures, people. some cultures, you know, would maybe consider me overweight, but some cultures would consider me Mother Queen Seamoss Gold. So, uh, yeah. So here we go, people. Um, we're getting into the meat of the show. I right? and y'all know what this is calling for. We hear Mr. Walker, double trouble, people. Double trouble. <laughs> Yes, sir. Forty dollars skips, people. It's 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 up and it's stuck. So we're gonna bring this sister out. Uh, we're trying to deter y'all. It hasn't really been deterred, <laughs> right? But here we go. All right, girl. What's your name? How? Uh, where you from? And how old are you? My name is Latria. I'm from Baltimore, and I am thirty-seven. Latria. Mm-hmm. Baltimore 37. Okay, what's your sign, girl? Virgo, my birthday is September 15th. Oh, happy early birthday. Virgo's in the building. Ow, 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 ow. Have you ever been married? No. Okay, you have any kids? One. How old? She's nine. Nine. All right. I was never here. Oh, what'd you say? No, I said I was never here before. You was never, oh, you was never, okay. Cool, so this is Latria, Baltimore 37, Virgo, nine-year-old daughter. And what do you do for a living? I am a um, serial entrepreneur. Okay. What businesses have you started? I do nails. I'm actually in a movie on TV called Hell in My Life. A movie, a movie being for me called The Mercedes Story. I'm an artist. I have a master's degree in social work. Um, what? I'm oh. just a serial entrepreneur. I get a serial entrepreneur. A master's degree in social work. I don't even know. Huh? Here we go. And the last but not least, she is a Tubi movie star. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Whoa. Oh, I told y'all. You wonder, how can they up the ante? Tubi is in the bed. I ain't never even seen Tubi. I ain't never even threw my eyeballs on no Tubi content. But I've heard it's hilarious in, in the most terrible way. <laughs> and here we go. I see Gihana trying to head up to the roof. Relax, everybody. Here we go. Let her cook. To the money. I do spiritual readings. I tape in. God damn. Okay, nail spiritual reading, actress, masters in social work. Okay, cool. Yeah, you is uh Jamaican for sure. 
Um, <laughs> what uh, what type of man you looking for, Latria? A rich one. What? Straight to it. What's rich? What's rich to you? You gotta make um seven figures or up. Seven figures or up. Yeah. What? Have you ever updated a millionaire? Yeah. yeah. What happened? He belong to somebody else. <laughs> what? He belong. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. It's cool. And, okay, well, if he was a me now. She ain't make this up. She done went, she done went full fledged diamond on us, people. Holy. She... I'm trying to keep it together. She, oh. she said, no breaks. Have y'all ever, if y'all ain't never ever in y'all life seen a car that had two gas pedals and not, no brakes at all, this is it. She got both foots on the gas pedal. She said, I'll take one millionaire, please. Come on. I got a nine-year-old kid. I, I actually dated a millionaire, uh, Miss Dan and uh, lady, but he belonged to somebody else. You know, he had a wife and he was treating me like a side chick, but I ain't no side chick. <laughs> <laughs> and she went all down. She said, Why ain't you with him? She That's my He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. You can't sleep at night. He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. I got him all the time. Ooh. Hell. <laughs> uh. <Woo>. <laughs> Here we go. The modern mercenary woman. Enjoy. Here we go. All right, well, let's just stay with that. When, when did you stop messing with him? Um, I have a couple months ago. What he do? What did he do? This is about me finding a man, not him. Girl, because I don't know if he's going to be find another one. All right, she want a millionaire, y'all. So just keep that uh, no so he does have to make a certain amount of money seven figures is that a deal breaker or if he don't make seven figures like, no he ain't got that probably like six figures i would like i really want like a rapper i just want to be like, realistic like, what? I want, like, a, gangster a drug dealer rapper. What is this? okay let's say what it is because you want to play with a lot of money and yeah so it's only a certain, certain, mm -hmm. certain okay cool so yeah baby. six figures and um does he have to look a certain type of way Chocolate, dark, and handsome. Chocolate, dark, and handsome. I like them chocolate and dark. Do y'all hear this? This is sick. This is sick. This is sick. Do y'all know what she want? Y'all hear? She's saying it with her chest. She and she and she mumbling it under her breath halfway. She want tall, dark, and handsome, making at least mid six figures, like at least a quarter mil, you know. And he got to be. You know, Idris Alba, pretty much. Tall, dark, handsome. Oh, she said hood. She said she want a bad boy. Ah, they want Killmonger again. There we go. You got to be a bad boy, a lot of bread, tall, dark, established, yada, freaking yada. I tell you what, I know what she said, but I know what Dime said as well. You got too much baggage to be trying to get up on him and talk about any motherfucking body. But the thing is, you're so boastful for it. You know, the Bible tells us that pride come before a motherfucking fall. Woo! Hell! Woo! Okay, huh? okay. Man, that is some old vindictive ass talk. Because you know with your uppity self, they say, they say pride come before the fall. Hope you fall on your neck. In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? That's what they be meaning. That's how that's how church folk scold you. They say, "I see you, but you better know this." They say that pride coming for the fall, and I hope you fall on your neck, choke on your own blood. Hell. Oh, uh, so she and she said, "All right, I, I'm done playing. Let's just say six figures." So here we go. Yeah, we I'm. Go. I'm now. I'm serious. Six Andrew figures, Cam. blue Andrew dude. Cam. This is sick. TV actors make money. Sorry, what you say? 
say? No, I said to be actors make money. Oh, to be actors. Are you reading the comments? Oh, are your movies on Tubi? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be on Tubi too, shit, fuck. Hi. Right. Tubi the new Netflix. Fuck that. Uh, what's your three flaws, Latria, that you need to work on? My three, oh, I'm really spoiled. I don't like no. And I probably talk too much. Okay, spoiled, don't like no, talk too much. This is like a petulant child. I'm, here we go. I know we behind on super. Child. She said, "I'm spoiled. I don't like no. You know, come. This is like a child. She spoiled. She don't like no, and she on Tubi. So she up here. You know, she like a a a W list celebrity, and and she want a millionaire. But if she being serious, she only want a guy making six figures. And she spoiled. She bratty, and she got struggle weave. Noted." Uh, so here we go, man. Uh, let's catch up on these super chats. Shout out to my guy, Chubby. Chubby, come through. Hit us with a uh, super chat. I'm starting to get a tinge of Le Crack. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> she on? Shout out to my guy, Eric Jordan. We appreciate the super chat, brother. He says, no seven-figure man wants you. You only are you owe me. Come yes. On. And, and she is experiencing, yes. Uh, recreational use, if you don't know. <laughs> Devil, Devil Games said <laughs> she uh, extra on, yo, that is the funniest. If you were extra on Tubi, like, no, you ain't no extra in a Denzel movie. You were extra on Tubi. And yeah, I was about that. to say, how did she get out on Tubi? I was wondering. She on Tubi, whole celebrity. Better recognize what your mind to be in the house. This is crazy. Uh, shout out to my guy, uh, Brian C. He says emotional damage front and center at best. <laughs> and we got Project Leroy says, No, she's Jamaican. Give her back to Derek Jackson. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. And my guy, uh, Eric Jordan, come back. He says, Diamond love don't live here no more. <laughs> Only glazing buns. Okay, where we at here? <laughs> Just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. She is dead. At all. Here we go. Shout out Derek Jordan. Let's I want to see his Kendra cam. Here we go. There we go. All right. Well, that's right to it. Um, we're gonna do the Kendra Cam in a minute because I like the way you sit, so we'll probably do that. Okay. Later. Um, what's the age range you're looking for? Um, forty and up. Forty and up. Okay. He can be eighty. Ain't no cap. If he's fine. If he's oh, okay. young, he got he gotta look young. He don't gotta be like I don't want no because you know it's twenty year olds that look like they about fifty. I want. Young and vibrant, like Tay Diggs type of energy, like. Oh, okay, he keep himself up. So forty and up. So as long as you look. Well, hold on, hold on, because Tay Diggs, we're gonna bring him to the front of the congregation because he's moving <laughs> wild. That's why she's saying this because Tay Diggs is dating Omarion's baby mama right now, and he being emasculated up in that house. Told another story. These women say these things because they see in this stuff on the internet. I say that to say that. Okay. He a whole stepdaddy. Trying to tell you. All right. All right. I, I'm stuck. Go ahead. All right. Uh, so she seen that. She said, Tay Diggs a stepdaddy. I want something like that. I, I was unaware of this. Unaware. God dang it. I... We taking L's out here. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find that video. I don't know if y'all seen it. It's a little off topic, but yeah, we'll see if we find it. Here we go. Good. You are right with her. This is Latria, y'all, Baltimore, 37. Never been married, nine-year-old daughter, serial entrepreneur. She does nails. She's an actress, has a master's in social work, and um, I don't know what the fuck I wrote right there. 40 and up, y'all. She's looking for a rich man. No particular other physical attributes. Rich, 
And no, I said uh, some chocolate dark and handsome. Oh, you said chocolate dark and handsome? Yeah. Okay. It was the it was the the seven figures. I went blank after that. Chocolate dark and handsome and rich. Okay. Uh when was your last relationship, Latria? November. November. How long were y'all together? Four years. Oh, what happened? He went to jail. Damn. What did he do? Sell drugs? No. <laughs> um why would a person be oh you don't have to answer but when was no. the last time you were intimate with somebody november okay with your ex. Yeah. okay um would you date a person with kids yeah and why you think you're single because where's the rich nigga because where's the rich nigga <laughs> I, I think i'm in, in the general. wrong state <laughs> i think i'm in the wrong state Oh, you in Baltimore? Yeah. Um, who, who do you hang up? You can't make this up, man. You can't. Where the rich ninjas at? Where the rich ninjas at? Where, where my, come on. Where, where my girl from Powtown? She just, yeah. Where, where, okay. Yeah. Huh. You yeah. want to send her to Powtown? Okay. Here yeah. we go. Courtesies of Mr. Walker. Oh, yes. Can you eat me out? Hi. Out here in Miami, hey, looking for the hoochie daddy, huh? Why the niggas ain't getting ratchet, huh? My son need a new family, yeah. Too many pieces. Where the niggas at, huh? I'm trying to get my coochie stretch, yeah. I'm trying to get my coochie stretch, yeah. You know the girl is too bad, yeah. I like the nigga with his cat, yeah. Huh. Oh man, these women, they so far out of order, man. <laughs> Vibe I'm getting from this system, man. That's the that shit, yeah. Where the rich ninjas at? I'm trying, to get, <laughs> trying to get this old gold nigga cootie kind of stretch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boom, Takalaka. I can't, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh, pound town shorty. Here we go, man. Shout out to my guy Brian. He says. I'm not saying that she is special needs, but she has that look about her eyes. Yeah. On, on that freeze frame, then the way she just keep answering the questions is, yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah she, she, listen here, what movie is she in in Tubi? Is it like, you know, about some a story about some slow student? You know, some remedial special needs student is that the movie she starred in is she cat is she typecast <laughs> here we go also shout out to my girl pebbles come through with the super chat she says sorry i'm late again hello mr walker and gavin uh the 52 year old lady was pretty and i like her spirit she was cool. Like I said, we yes. this is a dating show. This is not the, you know, unfortunately, this ain't like the morality show. We ain't up here like uh questioning people's moral compass and stuff. We yeah. this is a dating show. There you go. Yeah. yeah, this ain't yeah, this ain't like a cast for girlfriends, like you know, girls come women come up here to, to find other female friend companions, you know. No, they come up here looking to go meet the meet with opposite sex or same sex, whatever. It's a dating show. So they could be cool, but are they dating and or marriage material? Eh, not so much. For the guy she was asking for, like we said, it wasn't like the guy that she wants, that she, in her mind, that fantasy man, go. she she waited too long. That's That there was a go. cautionary tale about waiting too long and, and trying to, you know. Because Mr. Charlie going to walk up with his little cane, you know what I'm saying? Trying to go to bingo, driving that Cadillac, she don't want him. She won't. She want to move her and the shaker steel. It's unfortunate. Yes. So this sister here. Here we go. Uh, bone Keisha. Around like, are you around rich people though? Yeah, I do. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where the rich niggas at? Like, where do you hang so out? So I travel to New York. I be in Philly. I go out of town. I've been to Cabo, Jamaica, Dubai. Okay. I'm outside. Okay. When was the last time? Uh, was your ex rich? The one that got locked up? He was um no, he was okay. Yeah, he took care of me. Okay, all right, cool. He yes, he has kids. He has a nine-year-old daughter. 
Um, okay. So you single because you haven't found nobody rich? Was that your answer for that? No, I'm single because I was in a relationship in November and I had to heal. Oh, okay. So you got to get your healing done. You ready to be back out here? Mm -hmm. Okay. And why would a person be lucky to be with you, Latrina? Because I'm funny. Um, um, I like to travel. I mean, I'm just a, like an interesting person. Okay. Always frame back to up. Frame back up. So you like, yeah. Like, I'm right. I'm almost done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Perfect. Damn. Shit, that yeah, I'm happen. very interesting. I got, I got a lot of, and I can help you build with you. I want somebody I can build with that want to be supportive of my career as well as I would be supportive theirs. You know, somebody I can talk to you, a confidant. You can. I'm just that girl. You're that girl. Girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, that girl. And all right. Let me see. Did we do your flowers? Yep, yep, yep. All right, y'all. This is Latria. We're gonna do the Kendra Cam and then we're gonna close out on that because you got that really set up good. You took a about you took a wig home. Virgo, nine year old daughter. She got her, her doofy wig, right? There. She does nails, she acts, and uh she has a master's in social work. Forty and up, y'all. Please have some money. Chocolate, dark, handsome is what she's looking for. And uh will you date a person with kids? Yeah. Okay. He can have kids. All right. Um, yeah, she said she's that girl and she's single because she just got a relationship in November. So we're going to end on the Kendra cam because uh, your camera was already checking. So this is the Kendra cam. And after you do that, let people know where they can find you if they want to hit you up. Okay. Full body. Full body. Yaddy, yaddy. Okay. Cool. You can Where find me on Instagram. That's cute. that's cute, huh? I said I'm here on Instagram, Million Dollar Grippers. Million Dollar Worker. Right. Million Dollar Underscore Grippers. Oh, Gripper. Million Dollar Underscore Gripper. Million that gonna fuck people up. I don't think they can spell that. Uh, it's cut off of here. Like M -O -M -I so here we go. We're gonna see if we can find her Instagram, Mr. Okay. Walker. Yeah, y'all, she, whether she playing and joking, joking and playing or not, she came up here. This is her life. This is her, this is her reality. She kept asking for a millionaire. She said, I'm looking for a man with bread. She said, where, where the hoochie daddy's at? Where the sugar daddy's at that's trying to get ratchet with a real one? Because I'm a total package. Just don't oh. tell my, She said, just don't tell my producers I took this, this wig home. That thing, y'all see her, her, that looked like her natural hair sticking out the side. It's then got it loose. Her natural hair that came loose from the hair helmet. Here we go. I tell you what, this Instagram appears not to be disappointing. Huh. Yes. Here we go. Bring it huh. on. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Ah, pal diggity. Y'all ready? Here we go. Mocha. Mocha mama. Not mocha fest. She got the trick daddy plan. You can't make this up. Now, is that her? Oh, YouTube. Yeah, that's her. She playing and joking. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Y'all see? Y'all see? That's hard. That's, she was at Mocha Fest. Oh, oh Lord. She got a small daughter. Uh, where are we at here? Old bone Keisha. Look at this. I ain't putting some of that. Look at that. Y'all got to go look for yourself. <laughs> That's what I know. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody come look at this. Here you go. Uh, look at uh, Ed. Come on, man. She. <sighs> Pow, tell my baby. We never off base. Yet she looking for a millionaire. Woo, she got that BMW, Mr. Walker. Who's Bless. that? Her mom? Who's that? Her, her, aunt, her, her king auntie or her mom next to her? Her co-signer. She needed that co-sign. Co-signer. My God. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
my goodness. So, so well, what, Mr. 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 Seven Figures, when he said, let me check out her IG and it's straight, straight ass the camera, what we doing now? Huh? He going to say, <laughs> he might call. Don't get it twisted. He goes, oh, I saw you. I saw you at Mocha Fest. <laughs> I saw you. Yeah, come on out on my boat. Got something to show you. So there you go. She's going to pull up in her little body BMW. And, all right. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, she on here with some ninja. Her baby daddy's still on her thing. I don't know. Same, I don't know. All right. There you go. If you got a million, if you're a millionaire and you see this individual woman here, you like how much I got to pay for her cooperation for, for a weekend or a night. That's it. Not let me take her home to my mom and make her mom almost wife. 40. That time has come and gone, man. It's over. You're almost 40, Mr. Walker. <laughs> she is eligible for the all inclusive. Blaze City Tour. She will be visiting Pound Town Top. Stop. And that mug is strong. She take that makeup and eyelashes off. She gonna look like she been fighting all her life. I'm telling you, she know she she using what her mama gave her. She mm -hmm. watched Player Club, Players Club. She knows she doing. But there y'all go. She didn't tell us she was a lady of the night. She told she said she was a lot of things, but she held that back. All right, she got a lot of new pictures in here with her tail out. This is crazy. <laughs> huh. Fishing. That's just a so, fishing line. That ain't nothing but a fishing line, fishing net. Yeah, she uh ratchet. I don't know what this is. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right man all right we're gonna get up off this page all right go check it out million dollar grippers all right grippers what? i guess it's her nails is they grip us million dollar grippers what they gripping yeah. i don't know whatever i ain't got yeah so there y'all go um uh, that was rough I missed a lot of the chat. I know y'all was on one <laughs> hey, per usual. I right. shout out to Game Glock. He said, "Sup, fellas? We really need more information about her travels to in Dubai. Y'all know what happened there. I agree." She oh, said she Dubai. yeah, it was go in showers and and Hershey dreams. <laughs> and shout out to my guy Eric Jordan. He says this one here. She belongs to the streets. I agree, brother. Yes. R U O only. That's uh -huh. it. Pay up front. Uh -huh. Shout out to my guy, Project Libro. He says, Can y'all throw me the Dre Nug Nug some dollars? Man. <laughs> so this one here. Yeah. Uh, that was 40, bad. She almost 40. Yeah, I get where my man Dre at. That's about all she getting. Don't you love when I come around? What do you say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. Yeah, that's all. Only kind of man she gonna get somebody that's gonna come in here and lie to her <laughs> and tell they like they always lying. He told me he made all this money. I seen him, he had his boy's rental car, he was stunting, told me it was his, all that. What'd he say? Don't you love what I <laughs> So I bring her back up Milk for the band. Where we at. So, because she was skipped. Where we at? She did get skipped. Am I tripping? Did, oh, we, was uh, done with her. we was done. We was done. Yeah, yeah. She, she gave us her IG and the band was heading to the 50. Shout out to my guy, Ash Rogers. Ash said, let me get the nug nug bat symbol for this one. I agree, brother. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, it's over. This sister, she had the absolute nerve talking about this. Yeah. Hold up. Now, she came up here talking about she is serial entrepreneur. 2B movies. And this and that and that and this. 
just to be up there shaking everything, every inch of little booty she had. She was, That's amazing. Wild, ain't it? <laughs> oh, they uh, make this up, people. So here we go. The band at the 50. We're going to go ahead and send her off right, Mr. Walker. It's unfortunate. Yes. <laughs> here we go. Off to Pound Town with ye. Oh, that's a Pound Town classic. Especially when you get a straight scripper, straight like that. Pound Town executive. She's going to have a mighty good time. Mighty good time in Pound Town. She will bring in lots of funds. Mm -hmm. And one thing we hit on all night is the sister at the top there. She all wild. <laughs> we normally get a host, Grace, but she got the uh, fold-out chairs in her ear. She on one. The big glass. That's smart. Like there you go. Hey, that's smart. She messed around and go viral. That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> there you go. We're going to let her live, but she on one herself. Um, so there you go. Pound Town it is. Who's out next? Um, <laughs> that was rough. That was rough. We still in double trouble? Yes, absolutely. So keep that in mind, people, that we are still in double trouble here. We're going to bring this next sis out. This one here ruffled some feathers. This got Kendra in trouble, got everybody in trouble. Oh. So, a lot of people had smoke. Okay. Let me see how I catch my time stamp. Yeah, this is a wild one here. I think another one of them, uh, Kendra Bed. Hey, you guys. We're going to give Kendra some grace, y'all. Yeah, she looking yeah. a little raggedy and ish, yeah. but, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, any publicity is good publicity, kind of, most times. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're going to bring this next sister out, like I said. This is Double Trouble, so y'all know it's nothing but fire. Here we go. I haven't talked to anyone on your show. Oh, yeah. She, no, okay, let's do she it. So Luan, me, she introduced me to the show. I've never been on here, but this is my first okay. time. Okay. And where are you calling me from? I'm calling you from Florida. From Florida. Okay. For those who don't know, I had um, fibroid surgery yesterday. I see a lot of people are saying what's wrong. Um, I've been, I'm on bed rest for like a week, child. But I can do my show from the bed. I've been talking all day. Now, I can't walk too much. And I might have to take a bathroom break. But we'll go until I have to go to the ladies' room. So, LaWanda, Florida, how old are you? 50. You look good. Yo, black don't crack, for real. Look, y'all always talk. I don't got no makeup on. I'm 44 years old. This is skin. I have no makeup on. None. So, black well, I don't, don't wear crack. makeup either, but I went to a funeral today, so I put on a little eye stuff. Oh, because. No. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry you went to the funeral today. I, I love makeup. I'm just saying I don't have nothing on. Yeah. So y'all can know. Though. You look with good. Without it. Yeah, That's how I wake good. up. All right. So black don't crack. Luanza, Florida 50. What do you do for a living? I work in the medical field. Medical lab field. assistant. Yes. Do you have mm -hmm. any children? Two grown boys. 20, how old are your boys? 20, 22 and 30. 22 and 30. Both by the same man? No. I was married to the last one. Okay, when'd you get divorced? Before we get into it, I see y'all down here. A lot of cap. There's a lot of delusions of grandeur. They were just sitting there pandering to each other. Man. Rough. Yeah, girl. You look so good. What she said she half a hundo? Half a hundo? Yep. Okay, yeah. Can you see yeah, you half a hundo? I'm <laughs> 44. Yeah, girl. Black don't crack. We show sure look amazing with our single ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. so here we go. My guy Ass Rogers came through with the super chat. Money, 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 money. He said her own show landed her in the hospital. Yeah, I don't know what exactly a fibroid or fibroid is, but I'm yeah. no y'all know me. I'm a D student. Yeah. So get get well soon, Kendra. Yeah, all I know is head, shoulders, knees, and toes and stuff. Yeah, that's all. You know, the simple stuff. <laughs> here we go. Ooh. 20 years ago. 20 years ago? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you've been divorced. Okay. Yeah. What's your zodiac sign? Sagittarius. All right. So, 
Oh, and you work in medical field. Luanza, Florida, Florida, 50. Sagittarius works in the medical field. Two grown boys was once married. What kind of man are you looking for, Bo? I want a man that knows what he wants. And okay. together we can become one one day, but he has to be a whole man, not somebody that got some issues, baby mama drama, um, mental issues that I don't know about until I meet him. You know, just, and a man that is really, that know what he wants and can be what I need him to be as well. Like, I know what I want. Sometimes you have to spend time to yourself to get to know yourself. And I, you know, I've had celibacy uh, the last time it was six years, then two years, then four years. And sometimes it, you know, it goes and comes, but I, I like men. I want a straight man, but I want a man that knows what he wants. So here we go, Mr. Walker. God, hey! Another one of these women coming up here with this. Um, <laughs> Um, variable. Um, in, uh, what? Uh, celibacy. The, the celibacy is variable. She said, "I've been four years on and off." <laughs> oh, y'all better stop. Oh, she bought that madness out. The intermittent celibacy. Yeah, no, I thought that. I thought that was a one-time deal. I thought that was unique. Uh, y'all better stop being intermittently celibate. Oh, I was celibate for thirty days. Then I celibate for ninety days. Then I kind of was doing some hunching, kids. I ain't going to lie. I got into a routine. I was hunching. Then I was celibate for six months. That's what she said. So she I, said, I like men. She said, I like men. Mm -hmm. I'll be celibate, but I like men's. So you know how people do intermittent fasting? I do intermittent celibacy. You know, this this could have kind of just, you know, I, I keep it guessing. All right? <laughs> this could have kind of don't never know when it's going to get no meat to meat. Keep things interesting. <laughs> She all gas. She is real. She ain't. She about to land this plane strong, upside down, if you will. Here we go. Perfect. Glorious. And so my man knows what he yeah. wants. What are your deal breakers? Someone that lies and constantly has to be with more than one female. I just want somebody that's loyal, somebody that's honest, somebody that. Um, Who's that? Just, right behind you. They got their mask on. My my best friend i came to visit her she's sick oh. so i came to visit her right, and right. yeah yeah All right. so okay does he have to look a certain way um looks aren't everything but i do prefer he have good teeth because i gotta look in his face and i want his mouth to look decent you know like we can smile and talk but ugly i don't really call nobody ugly but okay he's been looking, yes. he's been looking. Yeah. all right um what about money? We got to make a certain amount of money. Um, at least six figures, but he just got to be able to take care of himself because I I know how to take care of myself. I don't want somebody that I got to take care of. No. Okay. Um, Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You said at least six figures? More. Oh, yeah. what? Hey, look. <coughs> Kendra medicated. I feel, hey, Kendra, so off that morphine, she was like, six figures. Kendra was like, yeah, yeah. Kendra, Kendra, stop. Look at her face. Kendra said, did you just say six figures? You shut your line, nigga lips up. <laughs> yeah, Kendra was delayed. She said, oh, she said, okay, come on, babe. Do the Kendra can't wait. Hold a minute. <laughs> did you have a hundo? Miss Miss Handa, half a hundo, ma'am. Did you say six figures? She said yes, Kendra. Yes, Kendra, I did. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I'm gonna run it back. I don't know if y'all missed this. Check this out. Kendra's so gone. She said it. Kendra's like, okay. You know, the Kendra said six. Watch this. Watch this. Uh. Exchange here. Here we go. Money. Um, at least six figures, but but he just got to be able to take care of himself because I I know how to take care of myself. I don't want somebody that I got to take. It care ain't of Kendra yet with Kendra. Look. Okay. Um, look. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You said at least six <laughs> figures. <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> Kendra, Kendra, you're supposed to be healing. 
this type of energy, this ain't healing energy, Bone Quisha throwing your way. You getting your heart rate up, got you jumping and coming back into consciousness. Whoa, six feet. <laughs> hey. Oh. Uh, uh, Kendra, Kendra, when they say six figures, I could be wrong. I could be off base, but we got a little bit of data. I feel as if Kendra be like six figures, oh. Effa. That's the same ninja I'm looking for. <laughs> How dare you, you common bone oh. quisha? Ask for the same man eyes desire. I got a Bentley, don't you know? <laughs> oh. So here we go. Uh, where we at? We're gonna bring Dom. She got a little bit of the diamondology. I'm sure Dom got a few choice words after that. Yes. Six figures. Come on now. Here we go. You ain't taking this shit serious because you take everything as a joke. But in the inside, you really hurting for real. Because at the end of the day, when when the booze die down, when the high gone and all that, you're going to feel left empty with an empty ass spot. Hurt, disgusted with self, lost, and not being able to find your goddamn self again. I can say that because I did it before, bro. All right. Man, y'all, man, them is diamonds from Big Dime. Hell! Y'all heard playing and joking, joking and playing, but when the midnight hour was strike and you there all alone, <laughs> you know you done did wrong. Shout out to Big Dime. Shout out. Here we go. Oh, here we go. This is classic. So, mm. You've been looking. Oh, all right. Um. What about money? We got to make a certain amount of money. Um, at least six figures, but he just got to be able to take care of himself because I I know how to take care of myself. I don't want somebody that I got to take care of. No. Okay. Um, Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Wait, 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 you said at least six figures? More, yeah, six figures or more. So he has to make uh, at least 100K? Or more. Okay, you, you dated a man? Hey, you you dated this man? No, I've dated a man that I had to build before. So I know that if he's broke, I don't want to have to build a man. Put it like that. But you said you want him to, not saying all men that make a lot of money cheat, but the probability is higher. So you want to date a man that made less than six figures? Oh, I would. But I'm saying the man has to have his self together because now if he got kids with that money going out, he he need to know how to spend his money, basically, okay, I just, to me. I made a video about this and I posted it on Instagram. All the things you're describing, you you so you have you ever met a man that has all the attributes that you described? Yes. Then why aren't you with that man? Because he's married now. Or what? What? Was he, was he single before you married him? You ever yeah. got married? What happened? He, he was in the military and I had just got out the military and I wasn't ready for a relationship. What? You let a good guy go. Yeah. And we're friends now. And I don't know His if he's wife know? I don't need no girl oh. who used to like my husband. No, Kendra, you missing the whole point. Whoa. This woman is 50 years old. She talked about something that was probably 30 years ago. We got to understand the context. She said, I did once upon, he made six figures now. We was in the military together, but now, y'all don't understand. Y'all uh, missing her, this woman is delusional. Yes, yes, yeah, it's, it's over. Yo, the time has come and gone for anything this sister thinks she might want. It's over. Mr. Six Figures, when she parted her line ninja lips to say <laughs> Mr. Six Figures, that was strike one through three. Bing, bing, bing. Just like that. Just like that. Uh -huh. She gonna, she keep talking about these once upon the times, man. There we go. It's a Kendra <laughs> Cam. Do we get there? Let's see what Not you yet. built like. Not yet. Yeah, come yeah. on. Because the house bad, she talking about she moving or something. Here we go. She had a friend's house or something. She in the closet. Okay, she had a friend's house, the other one. Where yeah, she, she had helping her. I don't know. Here we go. She had the <laughs> Order 66 is in full effect in this house. Woo <laughs> Execute order 66. Her, her 
Yes, my lord. Friends, as we got back in touch with each other, but not like we're messing around, friends. No, 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 no. But still, my husband ain't gonna be friends with a girl that I wish he could be with him. Oh, I don't want to be with him. I'm saying that's the man I lost. You asked me, and I've been with somebody. So you have no me. feelings for him no more. Oh no. Okay. Uh uh. Fair okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, um, let's do the Kendra cam. For those who don't know, I had fibroid surgery yesterday, so I'm on bed rest for a couple uh, days. Let's see, but I'm bored, so I'm going live. Um, let's see, uh, let's, let, let me see the pillowcase. I'm trying to fix the camera. I'm trying. Ooh. What are we doing? Come on, Bone Quisha. Okay. Come on. We can't see your legs, boo. I know. Get them braids. Hair all the way down. Go <laughs> on. Girl. So that's just a lot of fake hair. <laughs> Ain't none of that yours. Okay. This room is messy. Yeah. I'm in my house. So okay. Who was that? All right, we're touching So, Luanda, when was your last relationship, honey? Six years ago. <laughs> you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Six years ago. Oh, six years. Why so long? Because he broke my heart. That's why I told you I don't run after somebody else's man. If a man want to be with another oh, this woman, is the he can be with I got married. No. He he just he was a truck driver. He just cheated, I guess. Oh. Okay, I'm tired of being right, Mr. Walker. Man, come on, we're about to retire the show because ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening. Hey, shout out to my truck driving brothers keeping the. <laughs> hey, but it is what it is. That that smooth truck driver come through with that layover in your town. And he wind up at your same hole in the hole in the wall bar, and he got a and he like uh like Eddie Murphy off of life got a pocket full of cash and a truck full of hooch, and you don't stand a chance. Mister Smooth Truck Driver took you to the to the rare roof inn, had his way. Now you don't know which way is up. It's unfortunate. It is. Like I said, shout out to all the truck drivers. <laughs> We speaking of a particular kind of truck driver. We all know what this man looked like. That's why it's so funny, because we know who this man is, y'all. I don't know this big brother. He probably six two, got a beard, little gray, little dad bod, belly. Yep. Got like Mr. Walk said, a pocket full of twenties and fifties. And come on, man. It, it is what it is. He there for a good time. He got personality joking. He been on the road for about two weeks. He so he took he owned you. And you can't do nothing but just swipe that rookie and walk on in. <laughs> yeah, because you up in that house all them lonely nights. You finally get somebody to tell you that they like you and you smell good. Come, Come on. on. Huh. What's the way in our options? It only get logical at that point. She said, okay, I know I just met this man. I sure like him. He cool. But my honor, my dignity. So so what else? What can I do? Go home. To that cold pillow and that empty side of the bed, she be like, she. <laughs> so here we go. Speaking of truck drivers, shout out to my guy, Eric Jordan. <laughs> Eric says, no six figure man wants you, B.I. All right. We avoiding you at all costs. At all costs. There you go. Uh, hey, Eric Jordan, unless it's a layover in her town, you better stop jabbing. You know I go. Easy pickings. It's unfortunate. And here we go. Shout out to my guy, Jamal, for the super chat. He says, one of these ninjas will hit it raw dog. Ninjas yes. don't have standards. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Raw, raw. No condom. <laughs> sex with condom. No sex with condom. <laughs> Oh boy. Shout out to Eric Jordy. Come back again. That's a huge BI. The wall is undefeated, Shirley. Man. Yeah. Big Shirley get to that wall 
and she just started spray painting graffiti up there. I don't need a man. I'm <laughs> single by choice. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I won't date you if your fingernails look funny. <laughs> and she wild. So we're going to let her land her plane, as y'all know where we at. I think the band... Last I checked, they was getting ready. Uh, okay, the band making their way to the 50. There we go, let her. I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Six years ago. Oh, six years. Why so long? Because he broke my heart. That's why I told you I don't run after somebody else's man. If a man want to be with another oh, this woman, is the guy he can be with. I got married. No, he he just he was a truck driver. He just cheated, I guess. Oh, you didn't know he was in a relationship. He was in a relationship with me. Oh, he cheated on you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Got you. So it's been six years since you met somebody else. Yeah. Okay. All right, All right. Luanda. What are three flaws you have to work on? Um, being too nice. And the reason why I said that about the hundred K I got a, a good heart and I don't mind helping somebody, but I don't want to take care of a grown woman. And I want to get this out of, because I think a lot of women, especially black women think that I am rebuking black women with getting that man. And I'm, I'm really not. I asked the, the simple question of, have you ever met that man? Because, um, you know, I know a lot of those men, mostly all the men I know, and they actually make more than 100K. But there's not a lot of them that have the character. Like, they'll have the money, but they may not match the character request. Mm -hmm. And that's why I just ask women, like, I don't want to be nobody's burden of bad, bad news. But I just ask you, if, if 100K is your request, how many men do you know that make 100, uh, 100K that are trying to date you right now? I think it's where I go. Is I think it's the location. What? Because sometimes but the answer if you're is simple, location or not, how many hundred K men are trying? I agree. Hold on. It is the location. The location is planet Earth. So yeah, yeah. As long as you're on this rock, we call Earth. You are just in the bad location. You might have to go to okay. Mars. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right now, Bo right now, Bone Quisha, you are on the third rock from the sun. Maybe go ahead and hit the second or the fourth. You know, wherever the hell ever you want to go. Is Pluto still a planet? It'd be a planet one year, one year. Go wherever you want to go and see. Yeah, I guess the, the aliens want her. I there doubt go. it. There you go. So you're just in the wrong on the wrong planet, people. She made the wrong stop. Okay. So. I'm here for it. We we on the wrong planet. The, the earth is square. Whatever. Here we go. Here we go. Trying to oh, pursue you right now. None. None. <laughs> okay. None. So, and, and this, this, this is not a bad yeah. thing, right? This is not something to say that's bad. I just want you to understand what is the real pool. Because what happens is if you wait for a man that's never pursuing you, do you miss out on not having a man at all? Is that like, like if a guy doesn't have. <laughs> 100k are you good with never being with anybody else because right now you know six years is kind of a long time if you have your stuff together to be single i do believe in single seasons but i feel like you should be able to get your stuff together within a year or two but by year three you should be back out and dating like a year i totally get single for a year it may be even two years depending on what happened in your life you know life hits us all different but you don't want to go for a single for too long and when you are going for single for too long, you got to ask yourself, okay, is it me? Petra is out of their control. It's called the wall. When you run dead smack into that wall at 90 miles per hour, you don't get to start the car back up and keep going down the road. It's totaled. It's totaled. You muted, Mr. Walker. What we got here? Hey, hey, Tori, be tro Tori. I don't think you're trolling at this point. You said not uncommon to find a six figure man her age, okay, but they are married already and not and are re nearing retirement. So, if they are married already, then it's not common to meet a six figure man. I guess it's common to meet a married six figure man. There you go. That that makes there you go. It's common to meet a six a married six figure man at this age. 
but go. they be already married and or nearly retired. <laughs> and they, oh man, it, it's I don't like said watch you. We got it's a, what do y'all want? We can't keep answering that question over and over. Watch the show. Y'all know what it ti is, all right? Here we go. We got a cash up coming. In. All right, shout out to Cat, aka Karen. All right, she came yeah. through here for the cash out. She said, great show, guys. So there we go. Uh-huh. I think we all caught up. Let's see what else she got. Yeah. The, yeah, I don't. You know what I mean? I hear you. Uh, what we at? Tori or? Yeah, it was the, but you know, you know, the message over here is unanimous. So you know what it is. Time will tell. Do I got to work on some things or potentially who I desire? Do they desire me back? And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I think that I'm meeting so many people that feel like I say settle if I'm encouraging you not to be with a man that makes 100K. If 10 men with 100K are pursuing you, do your thing, baby girl, or whatever, or 10 dark skinned men. Are pursuing yeah. you do your thing, but I don't want you to miss out on having no man if a man who you desire or your requirements isn't coming after you. Because I think that could be that could be a downfall. You're a beautiful woman. Yeah, and, and that's what I said. It's just I think the timing is right for me. The timing. I don't go nowhere. I work all the time, and like now I just started going out, but I really wasn't. I was trying to get myself together. I wasn't thinking about a man. You see what I'm saying? She ain't been intimate in six years. She ain't been thinking. She been hiding. So even if Mr. Six Figures wanted her, she wasn't even on the market. He couldn't find her if he wanted to, Mr. Walker. That's the thing. She ain't. She's only single because she been working. She been getting to a bag and she been working on herself. She says that's the only reason why she's single. But now that she's ready, Mr. Six Figures need to come on where he at i'm ready my my relate as cave you say glory to the godfather my relationship muscle has dystrophy i can't i i ain't dealt with a man in six years but i'm ready for love and commitment and mr six figures but i don't know how to deal with a man that's that's the biggest problem look at her face Mr. Six Figures ain't trying to come home to that. I Ever. assure you. Ever. Under no circumstance. So here we go. My, my guy Ash Rogers, he says six figures in cents equal six cents. Yeah! Boom, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and, and my guy Project Leroy come through. We appreciate y'all. He says she gets her pay grade, 35K man in his 60s. Boom! Her brother probably collecting Social Security. He probably uh do some kind of under the table work. There you, you know? go. His his double wide trailer paid off. His old pickup truck paid off. What we y'all don't what we talking about? He ain't got no car payment. He ain't got no mortgage. He get a little pension. Like guys, he do a little under the table work. He, what are we talking about? That's a good deal. But she'd be settling because he's sixty and his and his we need to work. <laughs> Here we go. Shout out to, uh, all right, y'all want to challenge me again. Mrs. Wilson. Wilson. I think that's a, <laughs> a Mr. A Will. I don't know if that, here we go. Why y'all want to do this to me? Go ahead. Let me pass the baton. Mr. Walker, you got this one. <laughs> Wilson, just call him Wilson. <laughs> all right. Shout out to Wilson. Says, no man wants a woman who is over 300 pounds and fake hair. Come on now. That shouldn't even, we shouldn't even have to say these things. Like I said, 300 pounds for some defensive lineman is considered overweight for a whole warrior man. Yes. About? And shout out to Pebbles. Even Pebbles come through. Shout out to Pebbles. Said her 100K man might be on Mars. Sorry for your luck, sister. <laughs> ain't about being mean or, or pessimistic. It's about being logical and getting desired outcomes. But most importantly, 
It's about using your common sense. Real talk. <laughs> and Sean, here we go. Shout out to Tori. She back. We appreciate you. Here we go. She says, these old head MTA and other public servant workers make bank. She says, cops too, court officers, UP, USPS, all these 100K men. We understand that they're, what do they want? I think I think that's the part we, we missing and connecting that dot. We know these men making bread, but they want yeah. something for their money. Yeah, what do they want? And we are up here and we are letting y'all know <laughs> that they don't want her. They like that. So, yeah, they want something for all that hard work. Ain't nobody making that kind of bread working that hard coming home to this. At all. Unless they've been coming home to this before they ever got their money. There Only way a man coming home to her is if he's been coming home to her for the last 35 years. All right. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. With that scowl and 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 them and them tired drain all my life. I had to fight eyes and that blonde hair down her back, as we talked about before. Good freaking good luck. Good luck. Godspeed. Yeah, it's getting close to uh I see you always say game over. Yeah. <laughs> Monastery don't look so bad at all. That's that is that's honorable. Go to the monastery, put put down the bingo dabber, pick up the crock pot, make some baked goods, some stews, feed the kids, be good, become a pillar in the community. Here we go. But it's like now I'm ready. I'm like, like when I turn 50, I said, now I'm going to live again. That's basically how it was for me. So now I am putting myself on the market. So this is like something new I would never have done. So Are we serious? Been... You can't, I mean. Stop the cap. We can't, Are we man. serious? Are... Women and men, y'all cannot move it like time is telling this. You can't say I'm 50. Now I'm a woman. I'm 50 now. I'm ready to, to get a new lease on life. Give me the same man that a vibrant 25-year-old woman wants. Give me, I want the same thing she wants. What's your man, Get Kel? We're we going to bring Kel's in the room, will he? Huh? She wants the same man, Mr. Walker. I didn't Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your <laughs> common sense. <laughs> your common sense. That's stupid. How you gonna compete? It, it ain't no competition. Use your common sense. Get your desired outcome. $30,000 a year, double wide trailer, 1992 uh, <laughs> uh, Ford pickup. Simmer down. Be happy. Here we go. Out there on the market, but now I'm ready. We'll take it back. Man. Here we go. But it's like now I'm ready. I'm no, like, I'm like ready. when I turn 50, I said, now I'm going to live again. That's basically how it was for me. So now I am putting myself on the market. So this is like something new I would never have done. So I haven't been out there on the market, but now I'm ready. So that's where I am now today. So, yes, I understand what you're saying. And yes, six years is a long time, but I have met guys but now i know i don't just turn my nose up and just be like ill he's not the one or ill he is the one now i know what i want back then i ain't gonna lie i wasn't innocent i needed that time to get myself back together because i was bad at picking guys and now right. it's like really i want the guy to pick me i don't want to be out there hoeing around or whatever now you know like because that's basically what it's called when we go do what they do but you are past the age of a pick me she said, I'm on pick me now. No, pick me's are young, feminine, fit, friendly, all that. At the at the very least, fit, feminine, and cooperative. You ain't you the, the whole you have a hundo by default. You are in no man's land at best. See what I'm saying? How we get to no man's land at best? You ever talk about Mr. Six Figures? But it's no man's land at best. You see how far <laughs> base you are? Yeah, she she's singing his decree, right? But we don't <laughs> even recommend uh, Mr. 40 Hours go up in here. Nope. I mean, at this point, 
She has why? relegated herself to a couch Negro. Why? Why has she eliminated the chance at happiness and 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 mediocre bliss with Mister Forty Hours? Because she ain't gonna respect or cherish him. She liable to find a way with that old used up cootie cat to hand him a black pill somehow, some way. It ain't worth that brother's trouble. She thinks she's settling for all his hard work. Well, there you go. I think the band, uh, they've been here to the 50. Give her her final words, people. Here we go. Right, right now, I'm I'm ready, okay. you know. Okay. For somebody okay. else that's ready, yeah. I feel, I feel you. Hold on real quick. I want to respond to a bitch in the comments. So Kooky Lines, I want to make sure I get your name right, said, Kendra, do you ask all black women this question, though? Like, girl, people can't get a man that makes that much. Look at you. We seen you without makeup, boo, and it don't give 100K. Oh, bitch, my face give a million. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Let me tell you something. I sit here very humble. It ain't about me, but if I put down the pedigree, it would be what it is. Now, first of all, Kooky, I ask everyone that question if, they met, if they've ever met the man that they describe. This is not something that's to Lawanda. Literally anybody that comes on my show, I ask them that question. And um, I'm going to sit here and be humble and, 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 and not run down my real life because that's it's not about me. But trust and believe. No makeup. Flawless, bitch. Get into it. No pimples. No blemishes. Get into it, ho. Back to you, Lawanda, child. Ooh, why y'all messing with Sister Kendra? Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> y'all better leave Kendra alone. I don't know. I, I agree. Listen here, man. I don't know why these goofy women try to come at Kendra and y'all know how y'all picking order go. Kendra got more clout, more celebrity, more the King's Gold than you. Why would you open your mouth when, if anything, you aspire to be like Kendra? I don't get it. It's like they gut is for punishment, man. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Shout out to my guy, Ass Rogers. He says Green Car Bay or Nursing Home Bay is her last option for sure. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! She would be fortunate for Green Car Bay to bless her with his madness. <laughs> and here we go. We got um, a super chat come in from What's a King to a God? <laughs> He says, uh, peace SBC in the chat. If she don't get her a social security bay, and that wrote out social, uh, can't even say it right now, social security bay and sit down somewhere. Yes. Trying to tell her. That's one thing, man. I think y'all miss it. We also give resolution. So she up here uh, swinging for the fences trying to get Mr. Six Figures. We telling her that that is dumb and she ain't using her common sense. But what uh -huh. she need to do is settle for Mr. Social Security Bay, double wide trailer, paid off truck, and make it happen. But she won't. Seriously. So appreciate the super chat. Yeah, I'll let it keep going. I forgot Kendra got get this off her chest. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, they say Kendra. You telling her she can't get a hundred K man, but you land there in that bed and it ain't giving hundred K either. They got some nerve. Like Kendra said, she ain't got no makeup on, she ain't got no blemishes. Why y'all the, the hate is real? The hate is real. Here we go. I'm on bed rest. I don't want to get sidetracked. Um, back to you. All right. So why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, I am I am kind hearted. I'm a hard working woman. Uh, I raised my two boys on my own, so I can raise myself very well. And I just like I said, when I said I want a man that got himself together, I don't want a man that I gotta put together. I want to be something special with someone and they be special with me. You know, to, to today, this day and time, love means a lot of different things to different people. And I just want that special one that I can complete my life with. I'm whole and I need somebody else that's whole and together we can be one. But I'm not trying to get with no sugar daddy and I don't like <laughs> So this day and time, you know, they want you to do both and I don't want to be with a woman. I don't want to do a threesome. I just want me and a man. 
I love it. I love it. Here we are, people. The confessions. Me and Mr. Walker been saying it, and the Godfather said it before that. Y'all going to have to share these resourceful men. And y'all going to have to play by their rules. If he say he want to bring a woman home, he going to bring a woman home. You got to deal with that. <laughs> she said no. She said, Kendra, I'm so tired of these guys. They be having women, and they be trying to have me come in as a third party. And I'm tired of Kendra. They just want me to bring in, and, and they just want me to chew on bologna ponies and, and, and eat Kuda cat. And I'm sick of it. <laughs> Oh, they be, hey, these couples got her Iceland Tower hurt. <laughs> Man, you see what I'm saying? This is bad, bro. This is a straight up gatekeeper in all her glory, people. Oh. Boy, 50, year gate- old, 50 year old women were never meant to be out here getting Eiffel Tower. If y'all don't know what Eiffel Tower is, <laughs> y'all go ahead and look that up under your, in your old time. Here we go. How can we forget? It's been six years, huh? I would say it's over. All right, but we do got something for you. Here we go. If y'all thought the tongue action toy was crazy, I saved the best for last. The ultimate rose toy. Yes, this is my absolute favorite. If you're single, don't have a man, and tired of mediocre sex, this toy is definitely for you. It has so many different speeds. If you want to speed it up, speed it up some more. While this is going at the same time, what? An ultimate soul snatcher. I feel like as women, we deserve to have orgasms. Self-pleasure is not a bad thing. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. If the rose had a nose. Oh, that's always a classic, huh? <laughs> that, that poor rose. rose. That <laughs> rose. That rose need like some therapy sessions. Uh, I hate. Oh, it's wow. over. That rose is broken. See that face? <laughs> it's over. He didn't gave up. Gave it to the Lord. It's over. Yeah. Boom, Takalaka. <laughs> oh, boy. This is so bad. Here we go, man. But me, her and the man. I got you, Luanda Boo. She said, I'm I don't want no no threesome. Um, Luanda, give the guy that's interested. Oh, what, what's your age range? You're 50. Uh, uh believe it or not, I'm a cougar too. Hey. I am a cougar. Yeah. I'm a cougar. What? You're a cougar. Yeah. So you wanna you wanna date? Oh, you wanna date yeah. younger. I don't want no old man unless he know what he's doing. What? So what's your age range? 35 to 50. 35 you want a 35-year-old man making six figures. Oh! God! Hey. Whoa! Bruh. Oh! She 50. Stop the cap. She 50. She looking for monogamy, commitment. And she said it's a chance that this man making six figures is 35 years old that's going to come into her life. When when he him using his common sense, he gonna come into her life and give her happiness because he don't want a damn thing. I guess that thirty five year old fool. Mm. Thirty five. She fifty. Why not give me my man, Mister Mister Ambitious? I know I know twenty five and thirty five year old women want him, but I'm a cougar. You see, this 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 snapping turtle, <laughs> this snapping turtle go turn him out. You understand? Once once King Auntie put that blackberry cobbler on him. Oh, I'm trying to recover. Um, hmm. where we at here? Look at Kendra's face. <laughs> yeah, put my girl Dom. We need some Dom to break the ice. Here we go. Uh. Oh, hold on, did I? There we go. School of Diamondology, huh? We're gonna send her to school real quick. If y'all don't know, class in session. What you got for Dime? I think Dime got some wise words. Grab your notebooks. 
<laughs> See, he'll, he'll show you just a tad bit of his grace and his mercy, but I'll also allow the enemy to give you just a little bit of rope to hang your stupid ass motherfucking self. Yeah, just a little bit. That's all it takes. Give you a, just a little bit to hang your goddamn self. So if you like to be the motherfucking hang man, by all means do that. Ain't nobody trying to stop you. Do what you do. See, because in the end, guess what? Ain't nobody else got to pay for your motherfucking mistakes but you. Ooh. Hell. I'm been on fire tonight. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> I love when dad threw that hand up. Understand, Miss Ma'am. Because <laughs> you know you're tired. <laughs> oh. Have mercy she on us that, all. That man doing up that right hand. Y'all know oh. that what that indicates. She oh. what she's indicating is that everything she is saying is nothing but the gospel truth. That's why she put oh. her right hand up. Oh. And he is. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we taking class. Listen, the classes are filling up fast. All right, we can only squeeze like 20 people in per session. Dime, she only doing two sessions a day. Sign up now. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Here we go. Um, okay, you go with 35. So do you want something serious or you want something for fun? Something serious. Well, something for fun till it, you know, you build a relationship. Because, you know, it takes a minute. And you don't just get something right off the top. I haven't. Okay. So I want, you want a relationship? Is that the goal? Yeah, I want a relationship, and then where it goes from there, we both have to have that decision. Okay, made. got you, bro. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. All right, baby girl, give the guy your IG page. Um, I'm Facebook. Or Facebook page, honey. Lawanda Joy Matthews. Lawanda Joy Matthews. I apologize. Somebody's bringing me food, and I'm trying to text them. While I'm talking to you, I apologize. I'm sick of the bed, child. All right, Luanza, listen, you, you're beautiful, honey. Thank 50 you. years old, Sagittarius, Florida, works in the medical field, has two grown kids. I'm a, you said he can have kids, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. I don't want to raise no young kids. No, my children are grown. Okay, got, got yeah. you. All right. Okay, but will you keep me posted? How it goes? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, baby. Um, here's the, I, I, I wanted to respond to that because I do think. Y'all know, okay, so if y'all don't know, I had fibroid surgery yesterday, and I've been put on bed rest, child, but this shit is for the birds. Like, I'm bored out of my mind, so I said I could do my show from bed, and that's what it is. But I want to talk about this because, wait, hold on a second. Someone's bringing me food, child. Um, okay. Um, I said, okay. I'm saying, okay, they hear me. Here's the deal. Whenever I'm trying to have real talk, I really come with love. Like, I don't have a degree of trying to bust a dream. That's not really my goal in life. My goal in life is for you to get results. So that's why I ask questions that talk about your life, right? Um, I sit here very humble and I'm gonna remain humble. God told me my life, I have to be humble in my life. But I'm around very wealthy men all the time. Like every day, it's just my reality. They don't always match the character. They might have the money, but they might not always have the character to back up the request of the desires. So that's why I simply ask, do you know this man? It's a simple question. It's not something to bust a bubble. It's not something to bust your dream. The question is simple. The man you're describing, have you ever met him? Then my next question is, if you have met him, why aren't you with him? Because I think that there's so many good men. I think that women at times, they want substance, but you have to pass superficial requirements first right he has to be a certain height i think i think you i think attraction goes without saying i think that's a fair request you got to stand to look at a person right um he has to make a certain amount of money and then you focus on the character where i feel like I, i've dated so many wealthy men that the character is on top of my list i don't care how much money you have if you don't have a good character if you can't be faithful you're not an option and I think, and I honestly think a lot of you women have never dated the guy that you request. Because if you dated the guy that you request, I don't think he would be the guy you would be requesting. <laughs> These men come with a lot of shit. So I'm not trying to, so for anyone thinking that 
because I'm different. I think settling is when you're focusing on a man's attributes, like his height. Um, no, you shouldn't have a broke man. But I think when, when you deal with a person just off of, off of outward characteristics, that could be settling. When you focus on a man that's going to be there for you and has true character, that's when you're really, that's when you're really winning. And, and you could request any man that's, that's pursuing you. Like if you got 10 men, five men that, that's on your checklist that is trying to pursue you, do your thing, baby girl. Like you got options. But when do you say, you know what, maybe the list I'm requesting isn't requesting me. Well, there we go. The school of Kendra now makes, all right? Got K Kendra and Dime dropping gems, Mr. Walker. Kendra do be trying to hit these sisters with a little accountability and, you know, some a reality check, and they don't be going for it. Why? Because Kendra ain't that messenger. <laughs> if you ask me, if you ask me, a lot of them sisters, they smart. They don't give Kendra real pushback, you know, because I feel like they be want to say, Kendra, why are you trying to give me this uh, information? And like y'all saying in the chat, and you single. It's all, it's all French toast. But you, and I feel like that's Bonquisha's sentiment towards Kendra. And it ain't cool. But Kendra, for some of these messages, you are not the messenger. And it's just unfortunate, but that's how it goes. Could we ever have that real talk conversation without 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 me trying to be mean? Because that's not my goal. Like I want you to be happy. I want the best for you. But the best doesn't have to be six feet. The best doesn't have to make a hundred k. Not saying you gotta be broke either. But I don't want you to. I don't want you to waste your whole life on a list that you may never get. And there might be some good quality men who might not have the things on your list. Yes. I want you. And that's with love. But if a ho ho want to act up, I can act up too. Shit. Whatever y'all want to do. I only could do this for a little bit longer because someone's bringing me food. So I got to um, go in a second. Uh, well, there we go. Uh, back to you, uh, gatekeeper. You did <laughs> not escape. You did not escape. Come on back. Come on back, <laughs> sister. <laughs> yes. Because it is over. You will not escape the ban. You should not escape the sub. It is so over for you. It ain't even funny. We just let you talk. <laughs> so here we go. Um, got some super chats coming. Shout out to Rakai Media. We appreciate you. <laughs> Says time to pass the collection plate, people, for the building fund. Yeah. There you go. Uh, the good reverend needs some new uh, Stacy Adams imitation gators. Come on now. Put some tooth and fumes in that plate. <laughs> yes. Shout out to Rakai Media. We appreciate you just passing the plate around. We getting ready to bring Ma uh, Mancho out. So we're going to need some support to bring Mancho out. Oh, it's time. It's, it's time. You know what? Dealing with Mancho is if you're a thrill seeker, it's like riding a roller coaster. You're like, ah, that seemed like it'd be fun until you get on it, and you're like, oh, man, I should have did this. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to my guy, Eric Jordan. He says, need another diamond drop. Well, I tell you what, she come up here asking for Mr. Six Figures. Why you just told that fantastic ass lie in here? <laughs> There you go. Uh -huh. My guy Project Leroy come through. He says, yeah, Kendra G, man, ain't at the hospital with her. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Yeah, the Project Leroy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa. Who is Muncho? Uh, oh, stick around. So here we go. We're going to bring the band out real quick, and we're going to get to it. We're going we gonna... to... Oh, uh, yeah, we got a little time left in the show for Mancho. So here we go. If you don't know, you're about to find out. But the band at the 50, here we go, Mr. Walker. <laughs> Woo! Here we 
go. Here we go. Muncho. You see that? See, I used to get hyped for the diamonds. And Mr. Walker don't like diamonds too much. Now he hyped for this muncho, and I ain't. I'm like, you know, muncho, man. You know why? There's logic. So y'all might say, why would somebody like, you know, responsible, you know, honorable Mr. Family Man, Mr. Walker, like somebody like a muncho? Because I like scary movies. I like spooky. I like spooky, terrifying things. You know, it get, uh, you know, it give me a thrill. So when I see somebody like a muncho, you know, I'd be like, oh, that's terrible. And I thank God for my existence because I'd be like, man, it could be worse. You know, okay. that's all. Yeah, it give me, it give me. I see people like a muncho, and I like to reflect, not to poke fun and be mean, but to <laughs> thank God for my existence. Because muncho, you're looking wow. Here we go. So this is how we going to do this, all right? We going to give y'all, holy, holy guacamole. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here's how we going to do this, all right? Mm, this is rough. All right. Oh, why y'all doing this? Lord, we going to have, where we at, man? Make sure y'all hit the cash app, first thing first. I, I can't stress that enough. We're going to need go. some support, all right? Because yes. y'all know what this going to do to this stream, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah there right. you go. Yeah. We rebels up here, all right? As much as we can be an algorithm, don't take too far to to uh goodness gracious, to travel and circus acts like munchos and the bracas. So with that being said, Support your interests. Support the Rebel Movement. Hit the Cash App. Hit the Super Chat. Purchase some merch. Whatever fits, floats your boat. So here we go. Uh, we're going to give y'all a rundown. All right? This is how we're going to do this. We're going to play this. We're going to try. We're gonna, I ain't promising nothing. We're going to try. <laughs> uh, we're going to try to give y'all a rundown of the last, let's say, five days. Because this is a daily thing. So we're going to try to run through these last five days in a nutshell. All right. Hold on. Be strong. So here we go. First. So Muncho, if you don't know, is like an internet personality. It's like diamond times 100. And she comes on camera every day, I'm noticing, with a new get up on. Like completely new. So here we go. Uh. Where we at? I want to get a good layout first. Let me see. See, this ain't good enough. Let me let me edit this. That's Muncho. All right. Let me. Woo! And she and she's so beautiful. She's so fine. Fine like wine. She'll take your man. All that. And if you don't know, you you better ask somebody. Yeah. So. Let me get this layout correct. And ah! hey, um, Muncho in the house, watch your mouth. You understand? And she and she purposely puts on that lipstick that thick and like like that. That's purpose, purposeful, purposely. How can we do this? Uh this might be a good one. Here we go. This is Muncho. All right, we're going to do this. I don't want to. All right, we're going to move Mr. Walker here. Let's let us work this out real quick, y'all. Uh, hey, y'all, hey, this y'all really y'all first time seeing Muncho, huh? Don't get scared now. I told y'all what this like. I'm trying to paint these pictures. It's like getting on a roller coaster, a premier thrill ride. And you get all excited to get on it. And then now you hear, now y'all talk about, oh my Lord, what is that? There we go. Good googly moogly. <laughs> so here we go, Mr. Walker. Got us a nice layout here. Here we go, people. Y'all asked for this. Just remember that. I'm going to try to. So here we go. I'll give you if you haven't. Much of thing is, from my interpretation, she likes to get dressed up like this and come on camera and get a response out of people in the chat. 
a, a derogatory response and she likes to respond back with vulgarity. She will insult you some things. The, the insults are so vulgar and just straight for the jugular. Yes, that this is somebody's mom. I think she got like five, six kids. They all older. They adults. But, but yeah. So here we go. Uh, We're going to get into it. Shout out my guy Theo in the building. <laughs> Shout out to my guy Theo Coop. <laughs> Theo says, pay my late fee. Super diamond. <laughs> Should there have ever been a thing, big dog Theo? Super diamond. Theo, you ever thought you would wake up one day? Out of, out of witnessing and dealing with the terror that is the Braca. Did you ever think one day you would wake up and say, what is that outside my window? Is that a super diamond? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So without further ado, shout out to my guy, Theo Coop. Here we go. It's time! Woo! <laughs> You bitches want to be jealous early today again. You bitches want to be jealous about a fine bitch again. Y'all can keep on being jealous because I'm going to keep on looking better than every motherfucking body that hates. Y'all be doing a lot of hate lately. A lot of hate. But it's already, it's too late because I'm already great, bitch. Keep on hating. Keep on hating, bitches. Cock out of flea rats. Dingy pussy ass mud ducks. Keep on hating while I keep on looking better and better and motherfucking better. I see what I'm saying? The profanity and the insults. I be breaking my notebook out. I be like hey, getting new insults. Right. Oh, and listen, I'm kind of this is listen. Get get your notebooks out and and leave your common sense at home. Don't bring it in, into this room. So there you go. Write that down. Krusty, Kudakata, Mutt Duck. All right. Insult number one. Krusty Kuda Cat of Mud Duck. You're welcome. Here we go. Shout out my guy Project Leroy. It says go go Power Rangers. Crackers. What do you say? Crackersaurus. <laughs> yeah. Boom -laka -laka. Uh, and, and as I said, she finer than everybody. She's still your man. I didn't make that up. That's what she said. We're only seconds in, man. Come on, but here we go. Holy hell. Every day I'm gonna look better than you hating bitches. Every day of my life. Every day of my life. Every day of my life. Ooh, baby. Come on. Baby, come on. Bitch, y'all wanna look like me. That's all that is. Y'all wanna look like me. Bitch, I be looking good as fuck every day. Every day I'm gonna trump you bitches and step on you hoes' heads, ho. Every day I'm gonna step on heads. Stepping on necks, bitch. Looking good as fuck, bitch. I could never look this motherfucking pretty. I could never be this pretty into now, bitch. Stepping into my light. Stepping into my light. Stepping into my light. Why need to eat a dick? You don't even tip. Don't ask me about no water hoe. Eat a dick. Ah. Uh, so there you go, Mr. Walker. Y'all see who Mr. Walker got on his screen? Who is, what's her name? Oblique? What's her name? Oblique? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. That was my <laughs> girl, though. Her crumb. Uh, I can't remember all of them from All Real Monsters. Uh, uh, she's she's so fine. Fine as, fine as spoiled wine. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm going to try to fast forward to because it's, it's all the same, right? Ain't too much of red. She just, it's just, it. I can't even describe it. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, like when I get two thousand stars, here come the water song. When I get five thousand, yeah, everybody wants the water song. Even me, the water song <laughs> will be on the soundboard by next show. So it's, that's what she's famous for is this water song, and it go water, water, and she be doing some wow. It's the water song. So I'm getting come on, it. I'm getting come on with the water song. Come on. Okay, here we, so they be giving her stars like do the water song. That's everybody love the water song. Here we go. The songs is sung on request. I mean, five thousand stars is sung on request right now. Sit down, ma'am. Sit the fuck down. I'm ready for winter. 
Bitch, I ate a green and white motherfucking star stripe peppermint. I'm ready for Santa Claus, bitch. I'm ready for the winter time with my fine ass looking like Mr. Freeze. Looking like Mrs. Freeze. You're a fine one, Mrs. Freeze. You're a fine to so much ease. The port. I know I look like Mr. Freeze, bitch. I do. Especially when I be putting so much mousse on my motherfucking head with that be dick juice. Baby, I'll be looking good as for the port. Find you something to do. Find you something to do, baby, because it ain't me and she ain't her. Okay? All right. Now, if you want to lick this ass, that's a different situation. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see? Uh -huh. Now, if y'all didn't catch what she said there, now, if you <laughs> if you don't want to accept the fact that she fine as all get out with her lipstick, no, she ain't kiss paint, so stop that. No, she ain't eat powdered donuts by the pound. She ain't doing that. No. No, that is beautiful. That's what that is. That is cover hey, girl. Theo. Hey, Theo said my man Frosty the Snowman that gave her $40 to top him off. <laughs> yeah! Boom, Takalaka! Hey, she might, she wouldn't deny it. You ain't, mm. See, that's the thing. Theo, you ain't insult her. <laughs> it's impossible to insult her. That's her power. You. <laughs> you cannot insult her she's she's impervious to your assaults i promise you that there we go <laughs> thank you for the 200 stars the bestie thank you for the 200 stars boo bear thank you for the 200 stars baby thank you for the 200 stars oh it hurts in the winter oh good you better get somebody to eat your ass so you can forget about the hurts don't hurt me, baby. The port. If y'all wonder what she's saying, is that part. The port. So it's the part. She's saying that so, part. It's that yeah. part. I, I had to decipher that. Y'all welcome. <laughs> All right. Holy hell, I'm going to lose so many years dealing with these people. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. So there you go. We breaking this down for y'all. Get your notebooks out when she say the part. That's that part, you know, like and is and did the part. <laughs> it don't matter what the fuck it is. Suck a dick. <laughs> it's what I say it is at this moment, okay? Oh, let's make sure the shit isn't. It's 92 in the mountains. It's 92 degrees in the mountains. Baby, go jump in a lake. Go jump in a lake, baby. It's hot than a bitch outside. I got on clogs. I ain't wear no sneakers. Y'all motherfuckers be wearing sneakers in the summertime. Bitch, your whole feet be funky as fuck. That's the only time I wear sneakers when I want my feet to be funky as fuck so I can piss my dude off, bitch. What? That's it. Either way, I looking beautiful. Girl, all the dick you suck, get your ass up off of here with this shit. Go home. Y'all act like it's so many jobs walking around the street, walking around the corner, and this bitch is out here talking about something they ain't got nothing to eat. It's jobs every fucking where. Everywhere is jobs. Everywhere is motherfucking jobs and y'all still talking about some send y'all something to your motherfucking cash app because you ain't got nothing to eat. As much dick as you hoes be eating and you talking about something you ain't got nothing to eat. Make it make sense. Oh, man. Uh, mm. Mm. Just, just vulgar. Vulgar. It's all get out. You can't say nothing. You can't insult her. Cause she you just can't. She don't care. You say whatever you want to her, she's gonna come back with a with an insult, with a compound insult off the top, like Jay-Z. And it's that you was a song talk. back in the day. What whatever you words don't hurt me, whatever you say, bounce off me, stick to you. That was so, like old what you used to say when you was a kid. Your words they bounce off me and they hit, come back and stick yeah, to you. They huh. stick to me, you like glue, all that dumb ish. Yeah, insults bounce off her face. 
Oh. You know, you make know. it make sense. Don't put your cash app up here talking about something you ain't got something. What? <laughs> Look at this. Okay, y'all watching. Send some stars. They say they watching all the way from some. Send some stars to a broke down bitch. Send some styles. Don't just tell me you watch it. Make it make sense when you over on the motherfucking page. Send some stars. Like the page up. Excuse me. Bitch, the sky look different, don't it? <coughs> Bitch, I ain't answer shit for you. I'm going to answer you on about the dough. Go ahead. Go. Why they be coming over to my page like they going to make me do something? A thousand stars, but you telling me where you're watching from? But I'd be a man when this pussy is fatter than your motherfucking head. Ooh. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now we. I, I muted you. You can't even send stars. It's a cash app down there. It's a cash app down there if y'all want to send cash app. Why would I be a man when this pussy is fatter than your motherfucking head, bitch? Where you see a dick at, bitch? You mad because your man ate my ass. Huh? No wee wee. No wee wee. Yeah. Oh, man. So all y'all, there we go. Clarity, all right? This is serious. So clarity, for all y'all that was questioning the gender, you know, you was trying to question whether or not there, there may be a Y chromosome present. Uh... <laughs> This thing here says no. She said that's all Kudakata all the time. Oh, here we go. Shout out to my guy Theo Coop says talking about people not having jobs while begging on Facebook for stars. Yeah, boom, <laughs> yeah. Oh. The, the Facebook stars. What is it? It's like a ninety-nine cents a star. No, like a dollar. Oh, no, she say two hundred stars. That's like two dollars. Uh, yeah. So it's a dollar for a hundred stars. So she saying, you know, send her two hundred stars. She only asking for two dollars, and for the entertainment she dishing out, I think she deserves it. Ugh. You're mad, Rebecca. Why you so mad? A bitch named Rebecca. I always fuck they man. <laughs> oh, where my girl Rebecca at in the chat? Rebecca, she heard her, Rebecca. You see? Ah, uh, we told you. She said she don't care what you think you might look like. She said she'd take your man. She said, and if you're named Rebecca, she always taking your man. I smell a challenge. <laughs> oh boy. As soon as you send 500 stars, I will, Cassandra. As soon as you send 500 stars, I will. Fix your teeth, bitch. I better not fix my teeth, ho. I better not. Inbox me. I'll give you my P.O. box. Rena, get y'all asses in the room. Go in it. Come get this cat from out the head. Right up out the head, look. From bitches mad. Do the cash app. If it ain't let you send stars, do the cash app. Every day I wake up and be me. Every day I wake up and be me. Make them bitches mad. Every day I wake up and be me. Make them bitches sad. Hey. Make them bitches mad. Uh, 
and, and like we was hitting on Mr. Walker, some we ain't talking about people. She live in a residential neighborhood. Can y'all imagine being her damn neighbors? Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Drive the point home. Look at the surroundings. You can see down the street, and obviously his neighbors to the left and the right. Every she just so happens to be at some type of intersection. Talk about me somebody at the crossroads. How they got this creature? She at this intersection where everybody can see her. She come outside, she loud. Her her mouth about as big as her head. You cannot miss her. She bright, you see her lips from two blocks down. Come on now, this ain't this is serious. Every time she come outside hooting and hollering, everybody come outside. You know, so here we go. We're gonna keep it moving. That was day one. Day two, check this out. Now we're gonna catch her getting dressed. Here we go, people. Put your seat belts on. <laughs> Baby, sure I might look do my better. makeup and look better than half of you bitches, because I know y'all always wonder how I look this good, bitch. I'm about to show y'all how I look this good because. <laughs> Bitch, I'm just already looking good when I wake up this morning. I just already look good, bitch. Ain't well, God good? You you really yeah. get Come on now. You got some for me? Give me some. This is the concealer. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. Bitch, I'm going to show y'all how I get stamped, bitch. Let me just show y'all real quickly. Real quick. As a clown, bitch, he think I'm beautiful as fuck, which I am. I look better than the most of the world, baby. I'm the prettiest broadcaster in society, bitch. I'm the prettiest broadcaster. Fuck you, man. Talking about that ugly shit. Bitch, you got me fucked up. I can never. Ugly weird. Ugly weird. Ugly weird. Ugly weird. You see this skin, bitch? She pretty as fuck. She fine as fuck. Stop playing with her. I ain't about to play with no ugly motherfuckers. I'm not about to play with y'all, baby. Ooh, look at that skin glowing. Look at that skin glowing. I ain't got time to be playing with ugly ass people. I really don't. I really don't. Y'all see how far she is, bitch. <laughs> oh my. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> if this, this is, listen, I'm, I'm tired of it. If this is fine, if this is beautiful, then what is Beyonce? What is Janae Aiko? What is Kelly Rowland? Huh? If this is fine and beautiful, fine as wine, you know, where we at? <laughs> this is jacked up scale if this is top tier. It's just, that's just the truth. She missing the whole front boy. She missing the whole, that ain't no gap. That ain't the Braca offset gap. That's a whole missing boy boy. Y'all own one in the chat. Here we go. We're going to watch her transform from this to something totally different. Hit, make sure y'all hitting the like button. Here we go. Uh, y'all see how cute she is. And y'all be wanting to go through the extremities with me. Bitch, I ain't about to go through no extremities with no ugly. Uh -oh. Bitch, I ain't about to go through no extremities with no Y'all, y'all made her like this. Uh, 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 this is oh the Lord, culture. This is the culture. Uh -huh. She just sitting there, pop, 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 pop. Beat to the gods. I'm, I'm so <laughs> fine. Pop, 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 pop. Look how fine I'm getting. It's just happening. Look at it happening. Look at the transformation like a beautiful butterfly. Oh. Not so much. Oh, this is this is it, man. Huh? If y'all want it. So we're going to finish cooking up. Oh, here we go. Lord, have mercy.
candy. You're gonna be right here with me looking good as well. It's the color for me. This oh, shit. when this color start to hit, it's about to get wicked so fast. Oh shit! <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, oh man ah uh, this is oh lord have mercy man I <laughs> we i feel like if you ask me you know if i could be a little high on myself i feel like we tried to stop this from happening we tried to stop this from being i, I might like y'all can oh, see my mouse go around her head we tried <laughs> to stop this we didn't want this to be, but but it's here now. You understand? And it's and it's uh, immune against antibiotics. You ain't gonna get rid of that easily. It's armed with with old chalky makeup, and it's dangerous. And it's beautiful. Here we go. Uh. Oh. It's the details for me. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. <laughs> Fix it. Fix it. This is serious. She getting ready to go out to the world and pre present the world with this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, man. This one was under the bed for like two months and I couldn't find it. That's why I ain't been winning. Y'all hear that? What she say? She said that lash was under the bed for two months. She couldn't find it, but you know. See, found. and that's she got a lash that was under her bed for two weeks, two months, whatever, and she couldn't find it, and it's just dirty. And she gonna put it to her eyeball. <laughs> sassy, you so sassy girl. Look at that glue yeah. she putting on it. Girl, kiss my ass. Ain't nobody putting no contacts in their eyes. Eat my ass. You in the contacts, you dumb bitch. Trying to kill me. Some great contacts. The bitch go blind yourself, ho. Fuck wrong with you. Bitch trying to kill me. Here we go. Granny, I'll tell you what. All the ladies in the chat, replay gang, if y'all just watch her do that, you should be ashamed to ever glue a damn eyelash to your face again in life. You should set, you set a new standard. After witnessing that, come on now. There you go. Do you or do you not want to look like Big Munch? Do you aspire to be like Big Muncho? Because Big Muncho like lashes. Big Muncho like cake don't paint makeup. <laughs> Can't you see? Oh, here we go. It's in your eyes, bitch. No! 
Y'all watch my motherfucking phone. People just hate me and they. Whoa. Whoa. It's that two tone combo. It's that two tone combo. But she going to freak it. Yeah, y'all think she freaked it with the two-tone, don't y'all? She got the uh, mix, mix match. She got the two-tone, right? Y'all see the hey, two-tone? I'm about to go out with somebody, man. She about to go. He on his way, bitch. Oh, she freaking it. She about to freak it. What color is that? He on his way to pick up my fine ass. I got to hurry up and get to rest, bitch. Hurry up. He know he better have some good weed when the fuck he pull up to. If your car don't smell like weed, bitch, don't come through here. He better have don't some Don't come good through crack. here if your car don't smell like weed, bitch. I can't stand you sober motherfucker. <laughs> Whoever come pick you up, you shit, not me. Be sober. Bitch, I do. Fuck you talking about. Don't tell people. Yo, fucked up lie. We don't care. Can we? His throat is oh. deeper than a Mississippi River, you rusty bitch. You better get your dumb ass a fuck up off my page, ho. Steak and crusty ass. Oh. Your mildew bitch. Got your fucky ass on my page with that shit. Take nothing for me to look better than you raggly bitches. Nothing at all, bitch. I just woke up like this. Ooh, wee. Look at the neighbor back there. Look at the pe Come on, man. There you go. Look at him. Come on, man. Come on. Y'all got to be there, man. Y'all that neighbor. And y'all look over. Y'all see that atmosphere. That's a nice neighborhood. And y'all got this person that is Muncho out here. Profanity, loud, bright as the sun. You can't miss her. It's amazing. There we go. Shout out to my girl, Sweet Life. She says, none of these colors go together. <laughs> you sound like a hater, Sweet Life. You sound like a hater. You you just mad because she so beautiful. <laughs> and shout out to Mo on the go says, this is not funny. Sambo sad. <laughs> to, uh, she thinks it's hilarious because she thinks she is it. Ran through asses. Bitch was on my page talking shit when I had left out the room, huh? Still coochie lip ass bitches. You ran Ooh. through hickey head holes. Oh, hickey head. Motherfucker over here smell like oysters. Oysters. I don't give a fuck what they think. I know y'all need to send some stars instead of y'all looking. Send some stars to my page. They don't need no smoke on me because, baby, I pull up on their ass so quick. They're going to wish they ass was sick. That part. Find you something to do because that person ain't me, bitch. Get your toenail shaked ass the fuck up off the line, bitch. <laughs> Big ass curtain draw. Y'all don't understand. Every time you fast forward it to another spot, this is where it picks up. But you can keep fast forwarding it a minute, two minutes, five minutes, no matter where it picks up. She's this is it. Only difference, she might be singing, she might be dancing, and you don't know which what part of the whose genitals she gonna be talking about. But it's pretty much the same thing. Shout out to my guy Theo Coop. He says we don't do that to people. Yeah, boom shakalaka. Seriously, ain't, man. ain't that the tooth? Yeah, don't don't blame that. Don't blame that. On the earth, nah, come on. Yeah, when we, I'm starting to get a tinge of like crack. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> More than a tinge, heavy dose. What has tinge been? Hey, tinge, show yourself. You've been high and every time yeah, we bring tinge. Crunch out. Come tinge, on. we summon you, tinge. This is <laughs> your time to shine. Look at this screen. <laughs> Ass ass, ho. Suck my ass on the back with your mama slips, bitch. You see him? Oh. <laughs> 
big ass earth body built bitch. Y'all be super filled with rage. Uh. Why y'all be so mad? Why you bitches be so mad? Every time I come on my live, it's another mad bitch. Bitches slay every way, every which and where. So why y'all be over to my page trying to figure out how you keep your man? You can't keep a man looking like you. Ain't never done. If I'm so ugly, how I get your man then, bitch? Answer the question. Answer the question. If I'm so ugly, how the fuck I get your man? You need to kiss my ass, Cindy. You need to sing your fuck ass up off my page. That's what you need to do. Fuck, you too close to me not to support in real life. Don't what you talking to me, um, Lisa, Denise, whatever your name is? It's always a strappy coochie. Your man strap your coochie ass a fuck. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. That's who you, you, you on, bitch, you, you on a bad bitch face. She fine as fuck. Hope you got your too. Granny needs a water. Hope you Here go. Here go. So here's the water song. All right. Oh, somebody must have sent her some stars. If she get like 5,000 stars, she's seen the water song. Here we go. Water, water. <laughs> yes, I love me some water, water. Hope you got your too. Yes, granny love us some water. Hope you got your too. Granny needs some water. Hope you got your too. I resemble the bitch. All right. That's the water song, Mr. Walker. What you think? Water, water. Granny needs some water. <laughs> Granny needs some water. I listen here. She is sad. She, this is listen here. She can <laughs> sing whatever she wants. People, I get it. I get the allure. People just want to see, want to interact with with Muncho. <laughs> Muncho love. Muncho great. What's her? What's her whole name? What's her whole alias? <laughs> The real Muncho, Granny Muncho. We got a bunch granny, of pages. Gra granny Munch. Mm. So here we go. Shout out to Rakai Media. It says, I can't turn away. You know what's funny? I Like I said, I, I was showing this to my mom today. All right? Church going woman. And I was showing her this Muncho. And she couldn't turn away. You see what I'm saying? She yes. could not turn away. She was like, what is this? That is the allure. I'm trying y'all not listening to Mr. Walker. <laughs> is this is a sad show act at a circus or or a carny? Come on, man. Y'all ever see American Horror Story? She fit right in with the with the carny folks with the lobster claw man and the bearded lady. <laughs> Things of that sort. Things you can't turn away from. You know, two the, the two-headed sister Siamese. Stuff like that, oddities, you know, train wrecks. You get that's this is it. I ain't no base. I'm right. Do your man ace ass? You're mad at me because I pass gas in his mouth. Ah, you can get him, but you can't keep him. Ah, you can get him, but you can't keep him. You can get your man, but I can keep him, bitch. She is giving birth. Find you somewhere to be. This ain't it, honey. Not for you. You better get your dumb ass back. All I hate, but it's too late. I'm already great. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him what's going on. And you want to talk about something, but she ain't got no teeth. Bitch, I promise you, you don't want this beef. He's mad because he caught me with her. Y'all are victims now? Everybody's a victim on my page type shit. Nobody needs to know where the fuck I'm at. Yes, it's Gibson. Booty. Sit. I don't. Fools. Then nobody got a lot of me. So here we go, Mr. Walker. I'm going to give y'all a treat. I'm going to fast forward this to today. Y'all stuck around long enough. Now you're going to get a treat. What you get? When they tell me I'm fine, they was telling the truth. 
Y'all gonna get today's fresh. Huh? Fresh. I don't know if y'all ready for this. Here fresh. we go. Here we go. This is today. The latest honcho. Moncho. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. You bitches be wanting to hate so much. You see? She come on here looking like my man, the damn atomic dog. Do the dog catcher. Do the dog catcher. Do the dog catcher, baby. Do the dog catcher. Why must I feel like that? Why must I chase the cat? <laughs> Nothing but the dog in me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. You wouldn't listen. That's it's a look, it's a vibe, right? It's a vibe. It's a, it's a vibe. She she oh my goodness, man! Everybody's so creative. You know she got she just created with the lipstick, with the earrings, with the glasses. I don't man, where did she find those specs? Here we go, man. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm too motherfucking fine to fight. That's my cash app. So if y'all want to send something to the cash app, send it. Turn it down. Son. Send it to the motherfucking cash app if you want to send it. Send it. Send it. And I won't have to pull up and whoop your ass. I look like this pussy is better than yours. I look like your ugly dead pussy ass is watching me, you big back bitch. It's always a big back, fully rat, dirty pussy having bitches. Bitch, you ain't seen your pussy in 20 years, bitch. Ooh, God. <laughs> <sighs> I got you can't let this just go. You can't just let it go. You gotta stop it, you know. Oh Lord. <laughs> Here's another one. You ain't seen your cootie cat in 20 years. Write that down when you trying to hurt somebody's feelings. You ain't seen your cootie cat in 20 years, you broad back behemoth. Oh, oh my God. Shout out my guy, Theo Coop. Yeah, George Clinton. So George Clinton groupie. This is my guy, Project <laughs> Leroy. This is straight out of a comic book. It is. It really is. That's why it's so music. Can't look away. Where um, where Don Jeter at? Don Jeter, is she feasting your eyes on this though. <laughs> oh. Yeah, where you at, Don? Go on here and send fifty dollars across so we can get her off the screen, Don. We can all go home. All right, here we go. Fuck you, you wild back bitch. Bingo. Fuck is you talking about? Bitch, if you don't kiss my ass from the back. You raggedy ass, big back bitch. Take a your man, bitch. I'm looking for him. Let me go look for this bitch, man, as fine as I am. <laughs> Watch your man gonna run into my arms. Come into my life. I got so much love to show you. Come into my life. Boy, I adore you. Will you come into my life? You can eat my ass, boy. You could come into my life. Uh. At this point, like I said, me and Mr. Walker poking the bear uh, at this point, and we are summits in Muncho. You got to come up on the show. You got to defend yourself. We Bring the smoke. <laughs> Keep it. Uh, I don't know. Might, that might be like a Facebook only stream or something. <laughs> Man, you betcha. Listen here. She talking about coming to my life. She sound like that uh, Feed Me Seymour playing off a little shop of horror trying to, trying to seduce a man to her dang on big gaping mouth. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Boom, -laka. I'm getting feed me see more plant. Feed oh. me see more. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much, man. Oh. Yeah, y'all dicks. Stop acting like y'all don't be stinking. Stop acting like y'all bitches don't be stinking. Y'all be stinking bad. Oh, no. Be stinking like that. Be trying to get your dick sucked. You need to go to jail. Let you see my makeup. Nah, bitch, so you can copy off of me. You can't see nothing. Ran through a horse head hole. Please block you, bitch. You block your... You cock out of the motherfucker. Oh, excuse me. 
This is crazy. She does this every day. That's why I start off by saying she will go live and antagonize. She don't even have to antagonize people. She just has to do this. She just simply have to get in front of a camera. The 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 the, the critics and detractors they are coming every time, and that's her content strategy. She goes yes. live. People come in, insult her, or say whatever, and then she hurls the most evil insults back. There you go. That's that's her social media game. Muncho said, I'm just going to simply go live, and she just simply going to observe as the comments come from trolls, detractors, and critics, and she going to address them accordingly. If you a woman, you cool to cat a stank on so many different levels. And if you're a man and you got something negative to say, it don't matter because you can come and eat her cooter cat. So you can't, ain't nothing you can say to her. And here we go. Shout out to Mo on the go says, uh, must be white people, uh, subs following her. No, quite the contrary. These are black women. The, her supporters are black women, and then her mm -hmm. detractors are everybody, but her supporters. Are majority, heavy majority, are black women. They are in the comment section telling her how beautiful she is. She looking good. They sending her stars, all that. There you go. I would say the only sisters that may not uh, support her are the more, you know, bigger, robust sisters because she stayed talking about a, a broad back behemoth. Yeah, be big. They all, all shapes and sizes. I've seen them. All shapes and sizes. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, mostly black women support this nonsense. Her and Diamond. So, sure. this is not men. This I, men don't have nothing to do with per, people like her and Diamond. Just we just don't. Let me let the little baby go past. For like three weeks, I was in this booty hole, lost in a motherfucker. I had to make right turns, left turns, go up east, go up north. Oh my god. Rotten. Come black, bitch. Get your black ass up off this motherfucking page. You waterhead, bitch. Albert, I love you. Hi, Albert. Hi, Albert. Hi, boo. I love you. Bitch, I don't do shit. But your mama eat my ass. Your mama and your daddy was licking on my ass. You dumb bitch. Fuck you. Who to eat? I'm not singing water until I get 2,000 stars. Y'all don't send stars. Why would I sing water? Everybody wants their water, man. Water, water. <laughs> <laughs> they just, I'm, I'm convinced they just want to interact with her talking about some water so see the water so uh, macho it's, it's, uh, come on man oh, they man. heard the request at Quasimodo <laughs> do the song macho do the song yeah throw peanuts do the song yeah do the song water okay. talk about the water macho oh here we go, man. Why would I sing water when y'all don't even support? No water's getting sung until I get 2,000 stars. None of that shit. Bonnie, tell them how to send stars. I don't know. But you got to press the... Good night. The same reason you got the fuck up out of here. My cash app right there, Lori. Thank you for the hundreds. Mm -hmm. And like you said, shout out to my guy, Theo. All she does is sit here, insult people, and beg for money. Literally. She ain't asking for much on the flip and, side. And though. if you send her two little money, I'd have seen her, somebody sent like 50 stars. She'd be like, don't send me 50 stars, you raggedy bitch. Nah, 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 nah. It's 50, 50 stars. <laughs> I'd have seen her do it. She will insult you for sending her too little. So, uh, she had been send me some stars. So she will sing a song for two thousand stars. What's 20 that? Bucks. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, and you get a song 
fair, fair, fair enough. But you see, if you say anything she don't like, your mom and your daddy been licking on her brown, her John Brown hand parts. Uh-huh. And it's just unfortunate. Uh. Mm-hmm. That boy. The boy. <laughs> Bitch, I got hands. Your mama's a clown. Bitch, she should have swallowed. Her pussy stink. Your pussy stink. Your kids' pussy stink. Your man sucking more dick than you, bitch. What's up? <laughs> God damn. You seen her? What? <laughs> you gotta keep stopping it. I can't let that compound. We'll get back. Hey, Sam. Uh. A whole generation of funky cooticottas. Yeah, you, your mama, your daughter, your 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 grandkids, y'all cooticottas, funkified. It's perver. It's the perversion for me. Pure perversion, just like the Braca. Perversion. Your kids cooticotta, the baby's cooticotta, perverts. Mm. What's up, ho? What's Boom. up? Right into it. You couldn't keep him happy, bitch. I could. I did that. Can't be too nasty. He loves it. He loves me all the time, bitch. I keep him satisfied, ho. He licked his ass some more. I keep him hurt, hurt. I got all his dirt. Bitch, you can't get shit on Cash App but this block. Get your dumb ass back. Pull your titties up. Your titties walked around the corner six weeks before you came to, bitch. In class today, bitch. Ass long booty bitch with them crack rock glasses. Bitch, Medicaid ain't pay all that fucking $150 for them glasses for you to smoke crack out of them. You big wild booty ass bitch. Uh, 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 <laughs> Y'all, this is... Uh. You would think somebody that that's, that looks like this won't be up here putting on like this, talking cash money, talking about how somebody, someone else's appearance, and you look wild as all outside. All right. We're going to let her land this plane. We ain't got, we're on the back end of this, y'all. I know. A little, uh, and we getting off. And... We in flames. You too, we apologize. Here we go. Your tangy booty hole. Your booty hole smell like. <laughs> Love you too, Boo Bear. What am I watching? Bitch, you watching the most beautiful person you have ever seen. I am a comedian. Y'all don't support, so I don't go to fuck out. Forgive Good me. night, Gigi Draw Seven Ass Bitch. Clean your dick. We saw you too. This hot? Ah. Uh-huh. I'm just apologizing to YouTube because it's just. Oh, oh, I tell you. <laughs> Talking about we. Bitch, I stopped doing shit for 50 Cent when I was two, bitch. There we go. Girl, if you don't eat my ass. 50 Cent, bitch. Bitch, I stopped doing shit for 50 Cent when I was two, bitch. That whole trying to buy me with 50 Cent. Bitch, 50 Cent can't buy me a cigarello. Cigarellos is a dollar twenty motherfucking five cent, bitch. Ain't no, that the cig- truth? Oh, holy hell. This one. So that woman tried to request something for 50 cents. She said, I ain't doing nothing for 50 cents. She said, I can't even get a loose blunt for that. I can't even get a Lucy for 50. Oh. And you want me to sing Walter? <laughs> Oh, Lord, man. This ain't fair. It's really trying to check me out. I know you got no one. I know you eat my ass like it's great. Oh, boy. I'm killing you hoes. That's why y'all so beat for me. Every fucking day I wake up, it's a new bitch that want to be part of my life. It's a new bitch that wants to eat my ass. And I'm going to let you. I'm just going to invite you over and say, hey, bitch. Eat my ass like it's grass. I know it's kind of tasty. 
but I ain't gonna let you waste me. You can eat my ass, eat my ass, eat my ass. I know you can know I'm kind of tasty. <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. And here we go. In this world, imagine her before Facebook, right? And now, okay. like she said, every day it's a new person. Every day. She gets so much attention. Is that like, yes. a, that's hitting her endorphins, man. Yes. Yes. Yeah, without, I want to say, it's safe to say, without social media, people like this don't exist. Yeah, she get high off of this, off of the interactions, off of people acknowledging her existence. Yeah, get off on that. Yeah, I agree. Somebody said in the chat, I think she knows for sure that she is busted beyond all repair. I do believe she's aware of that. She's like, you know what? This is the hand I was dealt, and I'm going to make the most out of it. But she she has no shame. She has no pride. She a whole circus spectacle. And here we go. Shout out to Cardinal. He says she is entertaining. Most women who are comedians is not as funny as her. And I went on to say something the other day like, you know, her and Diamond in particular, somebody Ooh. like a Nick Cannon have not found them. Like Nick Cannon, get this woman on Wildin' Out and try to clean up her act a little bit. Like, there you go. I don't understand, it, man. I'm trying to tell you this woman. Ooh. There you go. You got to clean up that potty mouth. Yeah, she can't be on Wildin' Out or like you said, be on like, you know, HBO or so. Yeah, I could see like Nick Cannon take that wilding out to like HBO, like I said, and have people like her and Diamond come up. I mean, her and Diamond can do like a world, like a comedy tour, like Charleston White. They can go from city to city acting a fool. Acting a nut job and get paid. But why won't it ever happen? Because individuals like the Braca and Muncho, they self-destructive. After the first show, they had been unfall, it'll fall apart by the second show. Yeah, they'd be back hooked on drugs, drunk, just not reliable. That oh, you got if you look, you get two shows out of them. Third show, you tripping, you ain't about to get no tour. They gonna be hooked on crack and stuff. <laughs> so here we go, man. Give her a couple more seconds. Here we go. Each. Look at him. Aww. And you have a piece of herpes wrapped around your ass. Regina, oh, every bitch I know named Regina pussy stinks. Every bitch I know named Regina pussy be on fucking fire station mode. Uh, any Reginas in the chat? Show yourself. That's a strong claim she got. That part. <laughs> Chimney smoke, if I may say so, say so clearly. You follow me? I don't know none of you ugly red dude bitches that's hating. I don't know none of you bitches that's hating. None of you. You bitches hating on me, but follow me. Fire station pussy having bitches. No titties to be hanging down the street, bitch. You too young to have a thousand bodies on you, and it's only motherfucking July, bitch. You too young to have 60 abortions, bitch. You too young to not know who your baby father is. You too young to have herpes, bitch. Whoa! God damn! <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna shut it down here shortly, people. I <laughs> mean, what more y'all want? What more y'all want? Uh, we giving it to y'all raw right now. Yeah, y'all too young to be listening to this kind of madness. Y'all, y'all too young to be, you know, being exposed to a piece of herpes. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this is this not why you are here? Is this what y'all want? Herpes and bungholes. Come get it. Fuck you and fuck your ugly ass, mammy. Tell that bitch yeah. to pull up. Keep her block. Thank you. I will never stop being me to please some dirty pussy bitches.
stole these glasses. Can't be too weird, you up in my face, Trevor. I wasn't weird when you was sucking his ass out with a coffee straw. I almost blew your brains out. You see what I'm saying? How about that? <laughs> with a coffee straw. Then they want to be the victim. Why your pussy stay? Why? Why, Brianna? <laughs> Biting the shit out of his ass like he was an exorcist. He was possessed. What? They shadow banning my page, too. I'm lucky I got 600. What just... What fell out? What fell out her face? Hold on. No. Uh, Love you, beautiful. Let's see. They Check shadow banning my page, too. I'm lucky I got 600. A nose ring. Bitch, my nose ring. And, and you. You gonna kiss it. That's supposed to, what's that supposed to do? And, Spread and the you, back there? What we did, doing? Did. Kiss it to God. God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. Huh? Does that apply to this? <laughs> At all. Yeah, come on. Come on. Mm. Come on. Stuff falling mm. out of her face. Effing yucky. And you said this to us. Fucking North New Jersey don't play about nothing. I'm gonna lie. Me has no power without you. That part. I love y'all. Bye. So she be on here complaining about how Facebook's not paying her for AdSense and stuff like that. All she can get is stars. I said, why well, ain't no advertisers? Like you said, that's why we don't want to bring this woman up here. This is it's not it's, she ain't friendly nowhere besides yeah. pay-per-view. Yeah, she is not advertiser friendly. None of the above. You ain't she ain't never gonna get, get no advertisers can't put their ads to her videos. They play like, John. I understand, I understand uh Muncho's getting a million views, but man, all it is is bunghole and herpes. My gosh. <laughs> so here we go, man. Shout out to Nakia Harris. I know okay, none of us take no more. So we're gonna go ahead and put Muncho in the sub, y'all. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and put Muncho in the sub. Here we go. Holy hell. Uh, the passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah, Woo! Y'all welcome. We did that for y'all, man. I don't know the next time we bring Muncho out. It has to be like an occasion or yeah. live. You have to come up on the show because this is too much. There you go. Yeah, if anybody that uh, can get in contact with Muncho, First off, I would like to know how the hell y'all know Muncho. And two, have her come up on the show. <laughs> share the live. Share this live with Muncho. There you oh, go. man. That'd be funny. Yeah. Be careful what she asking for. Uh, so here we go, man. We appreciate y'all. We're going to get Muncho off the screen here. That was rough. We did it for y'all. Like I said, I don't know. That might be the last of Muncho. You're welcome. Mm. We try to bring y'all oddities and, you know, things that are like as much as we can. In the words of my man Maui of Moana, you're welcome. And Chocolate Bunny says, was that a filter? No. That was Muncho. Yeah. That was all That was all natural. There weren't no filters, no, no smoke and mirrors, none of that. And shout out to Jay. He says, cancel that B.I. Can't. She has over 130,000 Facebook followers. She goes live. There's seven, eight, nine hundred people watching. It, it. <laughs> that part. She got 900 people watching when she go live. She out here, come on. They out here doing Fight Club, Angry Man numbers. That's sick. And but yeah, y'all compared to Diamond, Diamond, a good show for Diamond might be like 250. You know, if Diamond hit 300, she going nuclear, all right? 
this woman here can get five, six hundred. That's just an average. Like, and y'all see why she's a very, very productive side show, a very productive oddity. Just can't control her. So there you go. I'm exhausted. Mancho took everything out of us tonight, people. <laughs> we appreciate y'all for coming through. Shout out to Project Leroy. Uh, we appreciate you, brother. Um, what else we got here? Who's our shout out to G Honda and Danny Nicole sponsoring the show? <laughs> uh, my guy Don Jeter, I'm sure he's gonna catch the playback. This was a wild <laughs> one. Replay gang, y'all welcome. Uh, Woo. my guy Joker Nutty Nate, my Joe, my Joe, yeah, Joker Nutty Nate. What'd he say? <laughs> uh -huh. My, my guy project Moncho emoji. Oh. We, go that. we get y'all. We go. We go get rid of one of the diamond because we got two dime emojis. So we're gonna get rid of one of the diamond emojis and get y'all a Moncho emoji. Yeah, boom shakalaka. Okay. In order to add some madness, we gotta take a little madness out. I get it. There we go. Shout out to my guy Theo Koo. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Do Better Podcast. My guy Theo going to be cooking up in the morning, 8.30 a.m. <laughs> Theo said 130K subs. Shit, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah! First thing I said, because like I said, Diamond Diamond got like 22,000. Diamond got like 22, and then she got one page, she got like eight. So let's say Diamond got 30,000 across three pages total. This woman, like you said, got 130,000 just on that page. I think the other page is kind of similar. That Huncho, Muncho got big numbers. That's correct, but can't make no real, can't really monetize. Like she crying, can't get AdSense because the content is XXX rated. If she could, like them live streams will end and within 24 hours, they'll have over 20,000 views. She'll have over 20,000 views on a live stream in like 24 hours. She she would be making some good money. She better she need to uh, clean her act up, maybe come on YouTube. I don't know. It's your best chance, Muncho. Come on over here so we can uh, round you up and, and keep you in check because you unstable. So it's wild, Theo. It does crazy numbers, man. Crazy numbers. So shout out to you guys, Eric Jordan. Shout out to DeAndre. Shout out to Project Leroy. Joker Nutty Nate, uh, like I said, Danny Nicole, shout out to Rashina, shout out to Courtney Love and G Honda. <laughs> I didn't, that was a uh, coincidence. I didn't mean to say y'all name back to back like that, but shout out to Courtney Love and G Honda. <laughs> and everybody, all the SBC nation, all right? <laughs> hey, we back, Glade City is back up and running, but you gotta be careful. Because now in Glade City running around, it's the likes of Muncho. It's still, Glade City still a little wild. We got to we gotta get under control still. Yeah. So here we go. Shout out to Theo Koo. Uh, we appreciate you, brother. He says, subs but no money equals a waste of time, in my opinion. I Try agree. You. Because she'll sit there, do a whole hour live stream and act like that, and we'll end up with 2,000 stars, like 20 bucks. You will act like that for $20. Act like that, you're gonna sell your soul for the dub because you is embarrassing everybody, you bring much shame to your family. So, yeah, she got kids, grandkids, all that is bad. So, like I said, we're gonna get out of here tonight. We appreciate everybody for sticking with us, man. This was a hell of a show. I gotta catch the replay. I'm replay gang myself. Uh, shout out to all the supporters. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button. All right, we're gonna get out of here. I'm, I'm beat. Mr. Walker, that was yeah. Uh, well, I told y'all be careful what y'all ask for. Now much of them drained the rest of the life out of us. We appreciate y'all. <laughs> yeah, early on they kept saying, Who's Muncho? What's Muncho? Uh, and the one dude said, Who is that? Look like a dude, all that. And my man Theo, like we said, Theo, you can't insult Muncho because you will hurl a, a, a here we go. You will hurl an insult worthy of like 10 hit points, right? Let's say we're doing hit points like Mortal Kombat. And your insult is worth 10 points. She going to absorb that and throw something back at you worth 50 points and knock you there on your you butt. There you go. There you go. So that 10 hit points, it's only going to register as one. She going to absorb that nine 
and she gonna convert that over into a uh, muncho madness energy. And she gonna hit you back with the fifty boy. You don't know what's gonna hit you. You're gonna be covered oh. in. You're gonna be covered in freaking fluorescent purple lipstick makeup and all that. Days are confused. Cause when you hearing her saying that, the majority of the stuff she getting is, you know, people coming into the chat like, oh, is that a man? And you know, they hitting her with the, is that a man? Why you look like that? You can. For real, for real, you don't even have to insult her. You could just come up and say, you know, where you get them glasses from? And she's like, don't worry about it. Your man gave through the email. There you go. Hey, Muncho, where you from? Don't worry about where I'm from. You was eating my... Hey, Muncho, happy birthday. Don't worry about my date of birth. Your mama was eating my... You know, Only I... times it's, it's acceptable to say something is if you send 2,000 stars with it. Then you can say how your day going. Here's 2,000 stars. And she'd be like, hey. <laughs> yeah! Boom, so uh, that's boy. what i take from it so with that being said man we'll get out of here tonight mr walker we appreciate you guys from coming through uh make sure make sure you share this somebody share this with uh muncho we with the smoke there you go get on up here here we go so you guys enjoy your work week all right where we at we're gonna bring dime in where we at? It's only one way to wake up and get your day started. Shout out to Project Leroy. Get my little day started, baby. The best part of waking up is diamond in my cup. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that looked like, but diamond in your cup. So here we go, Mr. Walker. We're getting out of here. Shout out to y'all. I am Gavin next. I am Mr. Walker. And we are Carpet for the Horse Productions. Good evening.